I was, I'm, okay, whatever. I wouldn't even know what he'd say. Too hard to say. What to, to dong, ding dong, whatever. Whatever, man. Ding dong, bing bong, whatever. Whatever. Ding dong. Eh! <coughs> Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, bing bong. Continue. Bro, why are some of you so pressed about whether or not I like the Timothy Chamolet guy? Disco time, baby. If you know, you know. Thanks, Wormag Kuchin. People are gonna get on my ass. Um, genocide bad. What? Insane. Where was I? The corpse is still on the tree. <laughs> um. I have 20 cents. I have... Oh, my shoe! I gotta get my shoe! I gotta get my shoe. Fuck. Dun, 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 dun. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster? A murderer? The gnome of Jeroma? You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smoldering deliciously. But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. That's gross. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied. Then smoke them all. What? Why is my the voice is trying to tell me the to be a smoker? The seems to make your neck expand. Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. What? Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Um, I think about it. Good. Thinking about yummy cigarettes in your mouth is the next best thing. Make sure you think about juicy sticks of tobacco all the time, though. It doesn't count if it's not all the time. And when you're done thinking about them, graduate to getting them. Um. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. No, that's not good. That's bad. I need to get my shoe. Look, how the do I get out? The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Look out. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. I got some pineapples. I got a door over here. Mm. Oh! I got sixty cents. Get my shoe. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. They're not normal cop shoes? It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Oh. I'm a super cop. Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Okay, let me put it on. I already put it on. Um. Wait, I have a level up. 
Um, empathy. Sure, empathy's good, right? Did I ponder feminism yet? It's, I'm still pondering it. Okay. I'm still considering feminism. <laughs> Hello? The door is closed. Still, the lieutenant gives you a quick glance. Yes, Kim? He doesn't like where this is going. <laughs> oh. You should punch a fucking hole in it. No! You hear the murmur of blood in your Let's ears. Let's go! Your back slowly relaxes when you breathe out. That's one lucky door. Leave. I think that the food place is open. I, 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 oh, here. Someone's working. Hello. A thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. What does that mean? It must be his name. Garanzi. Garanzi Kubek. Sounds representative. <laughs> Failed. Um, Mr. Kubek, I'm here on office police business. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. Impressive pots you have there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. I don't think that's his actual name, guys. I'm just a fucking idiot. Uh, I don't think I need to say anything else. Stay masculine. What? The man ponders his cooking utensils. Okay. Maybe I should go. You see a heavy steel oh, door there. with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. You immediately feel drawn to the color. Blue is for mystery. Touch the door. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Push the door. The door does not budge. Wonder, ponder the door. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Out of duty. There could be containers in the other room, Kim. Hmm. Yes. I suppose it's worth seeing if we can get in. There's containers I Just might look at. I must look at. As a side investigation. The door is a mega investigation. Hardly. Anyway, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Okay. Wait! I'll go talk to him in a bit. I gotta take the body down from the tree. I think I could just I could just raw dog it maybe. Raw dog as in like just try to tank there, it. He still is looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you expected. I'm eating more fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let it out. Ew. Stinky. You feel a great force ringing from your stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Fucking corpse. Keep it. Thanks. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Where do we get ammonia from? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. Oh yeah, okay. If she doesn't have any, 
There might be some in the fridge store. Kim, I have 60 cents. Can, can I have some money, please? Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Okay. Fuck, does Kuhn okay? Empathy. Figure out what's going on with the kid. It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. Interesting. How? Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life, like she's done something, something very bad. Really? Also, Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you, even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses and says murder was the case that they gave her. Okay. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with them alone. I have to be I have to be crazy. Try and separate them. Fuck you whispering about. Is he gonna call me a slur again? Hey, no slurs on the crime scene. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you! What hey! You what did I just say? Hey! If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. Yeah, what's up? What's good? This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Um. Listen to me. She's trying to control you. We gotta get you out of here. It's okay. The pigs are Shit. us against each other. Not gonna let him do that. Idiot. Tangled <laughs> it up. I don't know. That's it. You let him off the line. That was a bad, manipulative thing to say. You should understand. Oops. I got you this far. I couldn't get you all the way. Oh, okay. Try to fuck my Kuno! <laughs> Try to fuck my Kuno away! Me and Kuno are tight! We ride for life! Okay. A chill comes over you, the wind from the boulevard south, lashing you. Wait, I have to try again. To separate them. For try what's going on is an ungovernable youth on your crime scene, thrown around incendiary. No, I need a, I failed it. To push your buttons. Um, what if, what if I try this? Boundary pushing thing is old news. Get your snout out of Kuno's ass. Kuno knows how hard Kuno pushes it. Kuno pushes it hard level. You should give up, Popo. Or the cunt will keep fucking it out of you. I don't even know what that means. Are you okay, Kuno? What is that? The cunt? That went wrong. He took it as a compliment. Then he had a minor seizure. Um, I threw up. I can't investigate the body now, Kuno. I threw up. Yeah, like a fucking volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking pathetic. <laughs> I threw up. You were lucky you didn't die there. Hey! Maybe some advice for me? You're obviously handling it well. Yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. Yeah, what? Moose is left and to his right and leans toward. He's gonna tell me to fuck off. What are you? Like, 80, right? Maybe you should stop embarrassing yourself in front of a fucking kid. Okay, what if I try a different yeah, dialogue? Like a f you were lucky you didn't die there. Screw the both of you. Oh, what? You're fucking oh. on Kuno too big! This is a classic EU kid. About the crime scene, you kids often play in this yard. Right, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Um... The clothes are in the container. How did they get there? Yeah, Kuno uh. doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. I need to know, it may be a lead, someone may have tampered with the murder scene. Listen, listen! Kuno doesn't care about this small time shit. Just listen! Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. It's not sad to dive in the dumpster. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing. Your size, good price. 500 real. Five, I have 60 cents! 
Um. I asked you what happened to his clothes. You must have seen them lying around. Wait, I already found the clothes in the dumpster. Name someone I know that dumpster dives. Super. What's so great about these pants? Pig, these are foul modulars. Liquid fit, performance crotch, urban survival shit. Made in Mirova by scientists. Pants scientists. Okay. Believe it, you need this shit. He unzips his jacket to give you a quick peek at plastic wrapped pants. They're graphite black and look brand new. These could drastically improve your chances of He just has fucking pants movements. on him to sell? Coach Physical Instrument endorses these pants. They are tartan ready. I already have pants. Wait, what about his pants? Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around. Except for that hey! up there. Now you want performance gear or not, Grandpa? The lieutenant remains silent. But his expression couldn't say, I told you so, any louder. Um, I might be interested in the pants. We'll talk about it later. All right, Piggo. Shit's rolling. Don't do business with the pig, Kuno. He's gonna steal I should just knock him out and take the pants. As you can see, Kuno and C don't trust ya. Can't do business without trust. There's more to his distrust than being a pig. He feels threatened by something obscure in you. What that is, however, remains a puzzle for now. There is also a mug. The racist mug. Show him the mug. The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Um... <laughs> Does this quaint, better not taken out of its historical context mug have anything to do with it? Does this racist mug have anything to do with it? Yeah, Kuro sees where this is going. Kuro's got that fast brain. You saying you picked it after the mug fucker? Cause he's the clothes fucker? Uh-huh. I can't hear you, Kuno! Speak louder, Kuno! That's exactly what I'm saying. Someone tampered with the crime scene, cleaned some of it up. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat-down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. He does have a way of words. This is definitely one of the words I've rewarded. The kid may have something there. He's already come up with an interrogation technique, too. Okay. Kuro doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find he out, doesn't know. maybe you can... Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Get away from my Kuno... F hey! <laughs> yeah? Stop! Get your bacon shit away! Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the Why well, I got info out of him? Get he your doesn't shit know. Done and out of Kuno's face. Why pants? Jesus Christ. Um that ladder yours? There's a ladder? I didn't even see it. No, it's not fucking Kuno's. It's ancient. Look at it. He thinks you're fucking full, Kuno. He says you climb the Oh, ladder the ladder on the tree. tree house. Get the fuck out of here, pig. Kuno doesn't have a magic tree house. He doesn't have a magic tree house. What a loser. What's in the greenhouse? Don't know. Keep that gardener used to work there. What do you mean? What is that? Is that a slur? Look it up in the library. Kuno's not a fucking dictionary. Fucking small brain. Kuno means the gardener. All right. Um, the gardener? Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Okay, there's a stack of Eternite back there. That's just some shit Rufin Gimps left behind, lazy dinks. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno doesn't- Let me get some, uh, smelling salts. From the gardener. <laughs> Kuno doesn't care! It's raining again. That's the gardener. It was clear just an hour ago. Can I have some salts, please? Sure. I'm done with them. Thank you. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Okay. Fuck the police! Oh wait, I'm the police. 
You gotta watch some humanize the badge hashtag videos, huh? Is this my puke? No, it's just tracks in the mud. There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs. Okay, here we go. Cop there, thirst he traps. still is looking right through you. Okay, plus one eyes. has ammonia. 28%? What? <laughs> the ammonia Fuck! only makes it worse. The combination forces tears out of your duck. <laughs> you managed to keep it in once. The second time, not so much. I didn't keep it in the first time. The <laughs> your cheeks are wet with tears. <laughs> Ew. Um. I don't want to be a cop anymore. I don't want to be a cop anymore. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you feel the lieutenant pat your back rhythm, rhythm, rhythmically. The weight is reassuring, like a crinol on solid fortification. Rhythmically. Pat, pat, pat. Kim, can I have some money? I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Why can't I keep it in if I've been a cop my whole life? I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday he's cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, baguette. He pats your back again. What a bro. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. You seem to be fine. I think I've lost my sense of smell. Oh, he got COVID. Long COVID. Not being hungover helps too. Um, can you do it without me? No. This is a two man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. Wait, I need you. Can we help. just cut the rope there? You need to get your shit together. But I don't want to <laughs> get my shit together. Then the world will turn away from you and leave you behind. Fine. For you, Kim. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to Thought do while gained. the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. Volumetric shit compressor. Let me compress some shit right real quick. Oh, I don't have any slots. Fuck. Well, let me finish pondering feminism and then I'll have a slot. You've gained a thought. When this dialogue is over, Go to your thought cabinet and internalize it for special bonuses and effects. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Okay. I'll do that. Let me, um... Oh yeah, I can sell his handkerchief. Then I'll have some money. Hey, what's up, kid? Any new dialogue? Oh, does Kuno care? Yeah. The, yeah, whatever. Kuno, Kuno does yeah, 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 whatever, dude. Bye. I could check out that door and also the basement. Kuno doesn't care. I'm gonna sell his handkerchief. Fuck, does Kuno care? Any new dialogue with her? Hello again, sweetie. Um, about your pin. I hope you were able to pawn that old trinket. Uh, just wanted to- I'm not giving her the pin back. Of course, dear. <laughs> I just wish I could have done more. Can you give me some more money? Can I have your glasses to sell? By any chance? I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Can like I have your wheelchair to sell? But surely things can't be that bad. She won't judge you. No matter what you say. I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. Oh my. You know where we are, right? Um... A war zone at the edge of the world. It does still look like that in some parts of the city, doesn't it? We are in a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, dear. And the Whirling itself is in the city of Revishol. No, there's like a thing that, that's called when cops can just take your shit and your money and keep it. Um, what? I don't know diddly squat. What kind of place is this? How would I even begin to tell you? 
Civil Life forfeiture, sure yeah. Beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. Can I have your wheelchair? I need to sell it for some money because I don't have money to for a stay. No! Bing, 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 bing! She was resisting. She was gonna pull some. She was reaching for a weapon. I had to. I had to put her down because I was fearing for my safety. Now I get to civilly forfeit her wheelchair. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revachol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world. Oh my god. Oh, it has seen better days. Speaking of history, you know what year it is. Yes? It's 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should She did. Be she was pen. holding back on me. Yo, I got to do a shakedown of this old lady. She could have more things I could sell. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there. She, but now Jill, what she else is she holding sure. back on me? I need to sh fucking do a shakedown. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Oh my god, I actually don't know. But they said the people, you can volunteer to be a cop. There's like cop for the people. It's a dictatorship of the proletariat. Our leaders are fierce warriors. <laughs> We're governed by intelligent machines. Radios are being used to control people's mind and distort our perception of reality. Concealing our true masters, foreigner and woman. Cop. We're living under the cop regime. Cop. Actually, we are not. Oh. You could say that about almost any other nation, but not Revishal. Try one more time, officer. What mode of government? I don't know. Damn I'm... it. I was really hoping it would be a cop world. Okay, well, let's see. Well, there's a union. Um... Intelligent machines? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Nothing like that, dear. Okay. Revishol is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own. Oh. Certainly no machines. <laughs> There's no machines. How come there are cops? Oh, dear. This is troubling. You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revishol. Not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since yeah, the Yeah, so it was foreigners and women. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. Uh-oh. What's the revolution you mentioned? A uh, defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. Uh -oh. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. What does it have to do with there not being any cops? It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. Well, can you explain? I'm just the poor woman, she thinks. What do I know? What if I pick uh, the other one? But I'm a cop. I'm Whatever it was hasn't stopped of me. Of course, sweetie. I... I she doesn't know. Woman. How she did I do? didn't do too well, dear. You really only knew what year it is. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places. Reality in a word. It's very odd. Uh-oh. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. I'm brain damaged. But maybe I... Fresh set of eyes is what the world needs, and while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I, I wouldn't worry too much. She means this sincerely. Worrying won't do you any good. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should yeah, well, ask. Maybe I can ask him what happened to the to this place. No, 
Oh, okay. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Get a reality lowdown. I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Try a rich person? Yeah, let me find a rich person. Hey, can I have the key to the to the back of the restaurant door? Can I help you? Here's your trash container key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. Fuck, I should have pawned it. Maybe the scrap would be worth something. <laughs> found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Wait, who else has keys to it? The trash collection service. Okay. CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put it in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Okay, so I can't do anything about it right now. Did I internalize feminism yet? Almost. On Clinton Street, near the Boogie Street Diamond, a small truck- Chainsaw man? Anyway, it stops by a rusted trash container. Two men, their faces rough and swollen, jump out. They look at the container, despondently. CSM is written on their backs. What if it was someone dressed up as a trash man? Thank you anyway. Maybe you were in a fugue state. <laughs> like me. I think fugue states are more your forte, officer. Okay, dude. Plus two authority against men. So, uh, what happens now? Like, I, I get this? Um, could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my stuff. Oh, exit dialogue. None okay. of us would tamper with the crime scene. Okay. Yes. Um. Goodbye. Inexplicable feminist agenda. <laughs> there is something you need to see, sir. We found the remnants of an ancient artifact lodged in your hypothalamus. It is a cylindrical object, piss weathered and smelling of liquor. The paint is peeling off, but you can clearly make out the letters Revolutionary Feminist Agenda on the hull. It appears that some time ago, before you became a joke, you were an actual feminist. Somehow you've come to that conclusion. Oh shit, Perhaps really? You can work your way back. No more drugs, though. Oh, I thought the slot would free up. You can forget about your feminism. Can I help you? Yes, have you got it? How much do A I lot. owe you? A lot, lot. For the room, One third. I got six. Like what? I wanted to open this door. You see, a heavy st the door does not budge. Can I open the door? Do you know the door? The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. You know what's behind that door? He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Okay. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's behind that door. Fine. The man ponders his cooking you. Alright then. Um maybe I should find someone to ask about the Oh wait, there's a guy here. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary eyed joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Not now. I don't want to drink! Oh, excuse me. Do you have something better to do than lust for sweet syrupy no rum drinking. and lemonade? With a twist of lemon? Maybe lime. Maybe who cares? Just rum? Maybe I should lick it before I go? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> Your mesolimbic reward pathway is going wild at the thought. Lick it, lick it, lick it. 
your receptor's chance. Okay, I'll lick it a little bit. Calmly, the lieutenant looks out of the window, then to you, licking the tasty rum stain off the counter, but only a little, then out of the window again. I'm just licking a little bit. What are you doing? Um, investigating. We should move. A real drink would go well with those cigarettes you're looking for. That's a great combination. That's true. Have some whiskey and cigarettes, like a real man. Oh my god. It's like I'm at dinner with those Valor and FPS bros. Jesus. The worker is in a deep slumber. Perhaps he's on his way to where you just came from. Okay, um, I'm gonna find more people to talk to. Oh, hello. Shame. Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try Life to is enjoy soup. the game, all right? I am soup. I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. I don't get it. These manly men are playing balls. This is a ball oh. game. Grab a ball and play it. Don't ask questions. Shoot first. Ask questions never. All right, ball time. That's the spirit. Don't even waste your breath asking about the game. They wouldn't know anyway. They're way past their prime. Grab the ball and show them how it's done. Boom. What the fuck is this? You are immediately surprised by the ball's lack of weight. No matter. You make it work. I I'm bawling. God, this is right. You feel the familiar tremble of excitement and adrenaline that precedes every victory. Time has frozen. Feel the ball. The cold metal ball is surprisingly smooth against your neck. It has a pattern on it. Probably a sponsored ball. Yours would only be covered with bumps of learning and scars of victory. Already, your muscles are adjusting to the weight, the nervous system calibrating, until you and the ball have merged into a single I've entity. become ball. The man ball is ready. A chilly breeze ruffles your hair as you stand there, feet firmly planted. All sounds, smells, even the wind, Everything Things fades until chuck. the only thing left Become is the ball union ball. of man and ball. There's time for a last glance inward. Who am I? Am I man or am I ball? An embodiment of pure motion. A fine-tuned locomotor running at maximum efficiency. Behold the fear and confusion reflecting in the eyes of the two <laughs> feeble geezers. They are Behold! Of your superiority. Ball. You are a god to them. Some would still say you're a cop, but I guess we're beyond that now. The inertia can be contained no more than a bullet leaving a gun. Let go, be the ball. What? Why did you- Mailed! Why did I? <laughs> what the hell is your problem? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, problem? Question mark? You vandalized our game, <laughs> son. We can't play petonk with five bull. Um, P tank? I thought it was shot put. Well, it's damn well isn't. It's petonk. You ruined <laughs> a petonk game. 
We want our bull back. I I don't have a bull. Take it easy, Rene. This is just a misunderstanding, isn't it, officer? No harm done. <laughs> of course there's harm done, you oin slug. You are as a goddamn bull. Okay, I'll get a I'll try to get a ball. Good. Replace lost bull. Men at least try to right their wrongs. I believe you will try. Now why did you approach us? I just wanted to launch your bull into the ocean. Just talk. It'll smooth things over. Old people like attention. Do you know anything about the man hanged in the backyard? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, Bull. I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. But this affair has passed me by completely. <laughs> in Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? You don't have a problem with cops? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. You don't know anything? If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man. He respects the blue. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. He respects the boys in blue. This is a man with a lot of past, but little present, and almost no future. You seem to be playing in a crater. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. You know what created it? Probably mortar. I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Why? Why what? Why heavy artillery? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. It must be the revolution. Um, who are the co communards? Commies, communists, socialists, anarchists, call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Do you use artillery fire? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. He adds, squeezing a bull in his fist. So who is fighting the revolution? For the for Delta. I mean, I'm assuming I don't know. With this suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't so, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. <laughs> Look around, I'd bomb this place too. Um, why here in Martinez? Because this place is a damn beachhead. I had to soften the commies up first. The beachhead? Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Okay. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental deterioration in the preceding generations. Uh. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Death blow. Sounds grim. This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, that was 40 years ago. That means it was the revolution. Blood ground. You got all Grenet going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. The coalition? Mm hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate those foreign dogs, but uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Okay. Explains the war damage. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. He approves of this radical approach. Knows it was necessary. He likes war crimes. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. He hates the Union. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course they still all influence. 
You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? Um... <laughs> Nothing, I don't think. Foreign powers cleaned up our mess and now they rule us. Shake your head in shame. This coalition seems quite capable. Shake your head. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years Death of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains, I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal, or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. This royal failure weighs heavily on him. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence peddling garbage and stupid music on the radio. I still have no idea what the history of this place is. This is Besides, there is a war, wanted. and then foreign powers came in and bombed around. the shit out of everybody. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. Who the fuck is Guillaume? A true king in both blood and mind. Let whoever shall before Frisell. He would have been better. But the damn commies drove him into exile. Who's Frissel? That's damn the point? Frissel. Okay, good. Because I was like, was am I supposed to get it all by now? The Carabineers failed him. And the clown. <laughs> he died in the hands of the Hyperlay. In a very public execution. What's a suzerain? The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? Okay. They've forgotten already. Soon. They will forget everything. Him too. Then he chooses anger over melancholy. It's no use talking to you. You were still in daddy's balls when it happened. <laughs> when we took our last stand against the fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. <laughs> Through the ball in the sea. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. Thank you, bye. I'll get your bowl later. I have really outdone myself. This is divine. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. Gaston? More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. What the fuck? Rene, this, this, it's He's so mad. Pleasures. Life doesn't Thanks, need to be a, 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 a struggle. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? Can I have a bite of the sandwich? I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. Nothing personal, it's just a principle. Is it because I'm a cop? The only one you have. Suddenly you realize how hungry you are. The last time Please, you can I just have a bite? God knows what. Please, please, please. Believe me, officer. I wish I could help Please. you, but I need this sandwich to keep my blood sugar stable. In my age, you need to pay attention to these things. Oh. You can barely hear him. The sweet smell of pickles in harmony with garlic butter and marinated onions emanating from the sandwich is driving your mind in a singular direction. It must be yours. Please, friend. Please. Can I please have the sandwich? Off. <laughs> he jerks away, immediately startled by his own reaction. Sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it Fuck. in a bad way. But the sandwich is mine. I'm not gonna share it. I've been harassing old people all playthrough. When the dissidents come to rape our country, he hides. But try to get a bite of his dear sandwich and he gets claws. We are a special kind of vermin, Gaston. No? Okay, so that means that the cops that actually come here to solve shit weren't there fighting with them during the war. What do you know about the dead man? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. 
But that's all I know, really. Um... You know nothing? No, officers. I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are both good guys. I can see Can that. I have the sandwich? Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the union. Someone must know something. It was after the war. Oh, I don't know. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always please keep my nose can I have a bite of the gossip. sandwich everyone knows please and please, that. please 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 Respect. please please the old carabineer can't believe what he's hearing Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even any of course he's holding back his mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. damn the ball sucking is crazy can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, Rene? Old people are so I'm funny. I'm not anyone impotent in the union. I just know him hard. Wait, that name's familiar, except um, I don't remember anything because it was a few days ago. Are you a union member? Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties. Help okay, yes, yes, things. he is, he Have is. Heart. Edgar and the He's like ashamed of it or something. Know me. So you're not an actual member. Not in the technical sense. Oh. I don't have a vote or a membership card. Oh. But Evrard keeps me on the payroll. Just for the little things. Hobo cop. Need to replace the board. Um, okay. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. Member. I knew that. He's a very vain. Turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important. I hate this socialist rabble, but even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence. Never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. <laughs> and who's Everard? Everard Claire. <laughs> Everyone in Martinez knows the Clare brothers. I taught these boys human studies and history in the gymnasium. The gymnasium? What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later, when it had already moved on. You don't know history. The old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. He's looking for his bull. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Lest we leave riddled with bullet holes. This animosity is ancient. What are the little things you do for Everard? Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written, and I happen to have a way with words people say. What kind of things do you write? Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspaper. Philosophical stuff. About Martinez and how things are and how they could be. Evart and I have this long talk where... Where he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's coming propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, thank you. <laughs> For being consummate professionals. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. Please, the sandwich! Please, please. The man so principled about his sandwich calls for a principled approach. Time to get political. Please, 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 please. What is political? This right here is political. Um, the city's going to shit. Sooner or later, some foreign anarchist is gonna steal your sandwich. That's a fact. Your blood sandwich, point to it, is a tool of the oppressor designed to keep the proletariat, proletariat docile. These options seem awfully fascist or communist. What if I don't want to say them? Give me the blood sandwich. What? What <laughs> oppressors? I am not going to listen to this scummy gunnery. Give me the sandwich! Huh? L let me ask you, comrade, did you make the sandwich yourself? 
Look, comrade, the overabundance this sandwich embodies it is inherently evil. Did you make it yourself? Yes, officer. Oh? <laughs> Still, the overabundance this sandwich embodies is inherently evil. I really don't understand how my sandwich could... Wouldn't you rather have a proper sandwich? A sandwich with a soul? I don't either, but would you rather eat a sandwich free of the bourgeoisie guilt baggage? <laughs> I would rather just have this one, officer. It's really good. But imagine a sandwich- imagine a sandwich covered entirely in fine metal dust from an industrial plant. That sounds horrible. You really don't know your way around the kitchen, officer. Food and politics don't mix. I want to ask you for the union. Sure, officer. Oh. No. Okay, bye. He didn't give me the sandwich. Hobocop. Technically, you wouldn't be a cop anymore, but a hobo. That would mean game over for the cop chapter of your adventures. But who knows where the hobo part takes you? To the bar? Hobo pop. The old l'assommoir? To the pier or the sewers? To Le Royaume, where for 300 years they interred the dead. You could plunder the Harassing a man for a sandwich. For long forgotten Plus one RP. Bourbon. Then fight the Adam Makan beast that lurks the bottommost sepulchers. The secrets of the city are all yours at last. Hobocop time. Oh. Make more money from selling tear. Ooh. Okay. Um. How's this? <clears throat> There's a tree in it. Oh, this is right here. Were they here the whole time? I never saw them. What's this? Enormous bulls worthy of a real man. You gotta check your bulls before you wreck yourself. Yo, I gotta pick up scrap. I'm broke. Oh, maybe dumpster diving. There could be some stuff. Oh, I need a bag! And then I could collect bottles and sell them. Like a real hobo. Bag! Yay! Oh, collect the bottles! Yay! Oh, collect bottles! Kim, get out of the way. You're covering the bottles I could pick up. Yippee! Lethal Company. <gasps> I saw Kraken play this Lethal Company with some is facing southwest. really cool mods, it's like how- is full of fossilized bubble gum, Ew. rendering the machine permanently Like there was a mod he had where the fire exit could kill you. It could be fake. Um, poor little viewer, pat it. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. Look inside. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side, with Who N knows? and C scribbled backwards. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and grays appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts. Lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. Now is the best time to play Lethal Company because in a month nobody's gonna want to play that shit again. Until like maybe every three weeks or something. The church looks old and weather-worn. Take advantage of it with friends windows. while it's still hype. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach. And a small tent set up on the ice. Vandalism? Probably some kids. Our last try. Oh my god, that game is so ass. 
I'm gathering so many bottles. Is it in my inventory? What's tear? Like trash? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just some guy. Oh, I didn't know I could put these on. Oh. Oh! Oh. Fucking broad daylight. Bullet holes? I can. Yeah, let me put this one. There we go. I look like a man on a grocery mission. Money! Yeah! Thanks, Kasai and Chevy Chateau. Big bulls. This coin operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 sentences and pull the handle. Fuck no! I need all my money. It's over here. I'm looking for more bottles. A cormorant? Bottles! Kim, get out of the way! I'm cleaning the streets. I'm touching everything. What's over here? Get out of the way! There's sense to be made, yeah. There's more stuff here. This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Why am I looking at this wall? You have no clue. <laughs> it's just a wall. Okay. So many walls all over Martinez. Weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. Impossible. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be in Cutie's uh Christmas play. I'm gonna be, I'm playing a cop, I think. And a shopkeeper, I she said. Are you trying to sneak up on me? Come to slit my throat in my Good or, Yeah, they're doing the Grinch. Pigs come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, pig. You think you're so clever. <laughs> like a play? Yeah, like a play play. Like costumes Trying and stuff. Everybody get down! <laughs> no, I only have like four lines, I think. Wait, bum hat! Hold on. Yeah! There's a coat over here. Oh, I gotta get up a different way. Okay, let me see everything else. More bullet holes. What's that dude? Hello? There must be ah! a way into the building. Why is that so loud? Kim? You scared me. Hold on, there could be bottles. I need to pick up bottles. I, I need to go chug more Yakult, by the way, because uh, there's way too much Yakult. Oh, the mouse pad! Okay, I'll be right back. I have to, um, pee, and then I'm gonna Yakult.
break right why are you using the emote c grip are you trying to imply that i was doing some smokings there was no this is the mouse pad oh it's like a desk mat oh that's a big john oh it smells funky <laughs> There's, um, there is a seam at the end, though, but they made it light blue colored. It's a big one. Ta-da! The contraband is real? It was real, but I don't know how he got it, because it was never meant to be released. It'll be, um, out with all the other merch on December 21st. Let me wrap this back up. <laughs> And it comes in a little bag. Yeah, it's through Sen. Thanks, Bunyan. Can it be smaller? No, it's only one desk mat size. The clothes also come out on December 21st. The hoodie, it's blue. Fuck! Your desk isn't that big. Well then why? Unreason it's a desk mat, to be fair. It's more like a desk mat. Okay, let me roll it again. G morning. God damn it. Ex Excellent fest fest and dead mirror. Oh, this is a tight roll. Now this is a good roll. This is a tight coochie roll right there. Boom! Does it say the size? They'll say the size on the site. It'll be out December 21st with the pink crew neck with a duck graphic and blue hoodie with a duck graphic. And the duck graphic is the same as the one before, but it's pink and blue instead of blue. <sighs> yeah, I have your call. I need to fucking chug so much your call because my dad bought like five rows of these because they sell them by the rows and they expire in five days. So I have been <laughs> chugging this shit. Yeah, that desk mat is my merch. I drew that a year ago. <sighs> shots, 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 shots. You cult. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. Dude, I don't a fucking know how that one guy got the desk mat. Throat. It was kind of insane. Like, it was not supposed to be there. And the one he got is different from this one. The graphic is the same, but it was a different manufacturer. He has, like, a black um, seam around the mouse pad. This one is not. It's weird. Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. What's the RCM? 
Um, I meant you, the Revachol citizens' militia, the police. Oh. Yeah. What does the L stand for? Phaeton, my maiden name. Um, what gave us away? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. Um, shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. Okay. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will. Gladly. Yes. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate impotency. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief even. He's trolling. The is hatching some scheme. Him is trolling. How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation. And the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. It's what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? Why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes, bub. What nice fabric. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat. Almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes, red from the cold. Her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Orange pearls? Wealth and all its possibilities. Can't say I've ever seen that. Now look at you. You misery clad simian. Barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of boons precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. I got ball sack sweat. You're poor. Poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too... Ashamed? I'm not ashamed. What is this feeling I've never felt before? I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. As I should be for even considering it. This is a woman and I'm a man. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. I'm a goddamn working I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. You think your little communism protects you from this feeling? No. The more demeaning it is to grovel at her feet. As I was saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Can I have some money? I am sorry. It just doesn't no! come out of your mouth. It was seventy-two percent. Money. Excuse me. I didn't uh, hear you. Oh. Did you say money? No. Of course. She understands what you're trying to do. Ask for money. But shame is contagious, and she doesn't want to offend you by saying it out loud. You're on a uh, boat. Why, yes, I am. You have a license for the boat? Officer, I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull. Fuck! She Why won't. Ugh, how did I. F I'm gonna ask her for money. Qualified pleasure craft operator. So charming. Where's the damn license? Can I see your license? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Even finished once. What's that? Good enough. Why wouldn't it be? This is Revachol, Wayfair Act and all. Anyone can drive a boat. Does she have a name? Well, if I put a point in volition, I can try again. The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. The word it feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. A breeze ripples through the sails and tugs at your hair. 
Below, the sleek, fish-like shape of the hull parts the water. Beneath that, a resounding darkness. You're reminded of something. Or someone. Cool, but your boat really needs a name. Okay. How about Cordelechi 19? Why? She taps on the side of the boat and makes a hollow sound. Because it was manufactured in Revishal East by a company called Cordelechi. And its hull is 19 paces long. How about Dolores? Why Dolores? I like the name for some reason. Hmm. Well, it means nothing to me. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you for the suggestion. Maybe that's my ex that killed herself and it traumatized me or something. What kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure craft. A 19 pacer. Okay. Also, my sloop, I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. <laughs> I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Um, not a lot of people on boats here, aren't there? Of course Art? there are. We're on an archipelago. How oh. else are you supposed to get around? There is a pinch of defensiveness in her voice, but it is playful. Wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. But I thought we're in Revachol. We are. And the city of Revachol is on the island of Le Caillou. I don't see anybody. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor. It's not a toy. So it's not a souped up Copris Kinema motor carriage. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revachol between the city and the islands. Good. Thanks, Kevin June. Tell me about the <laughs> Tell me about the strike. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. What if I want to hear trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. An octopus? I will slay it. Good luck. It's only kept in place by the vested interests of half the civilized world. Including your own. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both get their authority from the coalition government. But I am derailing us. Yes, what you is your role? About, I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. Okay. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago after that awful lynching took place. Okay. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a 2 meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. <laughs> what is this behemoth? What can I say? The union employs a giant covered in tattoos. A racist giant. A racist giant? I guess giant? that's part of their big tent organization now. How are the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. Oh. I wasn't the original negotiator Oh, here. someone else negotiated. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he granted the Union in prior negotiations. Drama! This isn't the first time the Union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the Union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. So what happened to Mr. Gaumont? Mr. Clare told him to how did he put it? Fuck himself? Fuck off, midget. Gaumont <laughs> is short of stature, you see. Uh, okay. 
Yes. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the Union. What were their de what are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere and banners. What do they say again? Thanks, oh, small yes. Aurora. What do they say? Every worker, a member of the board. Um What's the board? Like a vote? Every worker should be on the board, on the board of directors. Okay. Then you might also like their other slogan. Demand democracy. Oh yeah. Personally, I don't think it has the same pizzazzo as every worker, a member of the board. What do they mean by it? What's the demand? It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what? about anything really, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Okay. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. The king is dead, long live the workers. That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. I'm a full-blown commie now. I don't want to be a fence-sitter. It's either be a fence-sitter or be a full-blown commie or a full-blown sure. not commie. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up. Just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now... People are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Mm hmm Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? Yeah, I'm a feminist now. I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. Manana? This checks out. Reaction speed. It's just... I can't do that. My head's gonna hurt if I do that. Um, tell me about the union boss, Mr. Clare. Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Okay. Of course not. Oh. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Say nothing. Is he that bad? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. He's a twin brother? Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does, and when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Okay. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. <gasps> Embezzlement? What about the union itself, outside the brothers? The Debardeurs Union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad oh. as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. It became crime? Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but... I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective? If I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs Union is... I don't even know. I haven't spoken to them yet. I, I don't know. I'm gonna say... 
he they're an advocate. I mean, she's obviously Why against do you think them. So? Um, they're good labor men. Can't fault them for a little corruption. Between Ever and the Human Leech and Measurehead, this union sounds like a motley crew. I'm into it. Wink. Sounds like they're all revishal. I'm all revishal too. To hell with the rest. I mean, this also, she could be exaggerating and lying. I didn't meet Measurehead either. Ha! <laughs> a real man of the left. I don't fucking what else know them can I yet. Tell you about? Um, you think something happened in the election? I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the union. She disappeared. Oh. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Eerie. Downright haunting, if you ask me. The Wild Pines suspected foul play, but what could they do? It was a union matter. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Okay. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. I didn't want to pick the other options because I didn't know them. Um, okay. Of course. How else can I help? Tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What we do? I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. What do they do? The Pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? <laughs> those are the shipping side of things. Okay. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy. How much oil money do they have? Aspiration. I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet. But Twenty billion. Last year, Holy fuck! A billion. Wow. What exactly is a billion? It's a number, officer. What is a it made one. of? It's made of one thousand millions. A million is made of a thousand thousands. Wow. Twenty billion is a large number, but the conglomerate employs 72,000 people. They all need to be paid. Then there are capital improvements, interest payments. Twenty billion is insanely... That is a lot. 72,000 people is not a lot. A conglomerate the size of the wild pines is like a shark. If it stops moving, it will die. Then what becomes of those 72,000 families? It's a tremendous responsibility. Yeah, shit is so cheap. A book is like $4. Um, where do they get all these billions? They started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Easterlers 250 years ago. When pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lawman There's Tango no way that shit's paid equally. The Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. Why does a huge company want it with a place like this? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners? Who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo? You don't keep it moving, the workers do. We built this district. Shut up. All the best parts of it. Rue de saint Gislaine, with its bastions. The, the people plazas, did! Meteor and mosaic. Even some of the old street lamps have been put back thanks to the investments from the WP. The points behind you where the seawall rises. Before Martinez was swallowed by the industrial harbor, even before it was part of Revachol, long before Terminal B was erected here, the Pines built it as a resort for its Revacholian employees. Okay. A company getaway for a weekend or a summer holiday. Then came the revolution. But that's another matter. 
I'm here to make sure the maybe the revolution happened because the company displaced the all the built. people that were originally living here and people were upset at the help. companies Good dipping food. their fingers and everything can I have some money heard of billions well, yes you're doing it really put your back into it yell it from the top of your lungs money I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't hear you the wind is a bit strong. Could you repeat that? I need money! How much money? 10,000! Come now. Nobody carries that much cash on their person. Particularly in a place like Martinez. I'd get robbed. And even if I did, I still would not give you 10,000 real. I would rather buy something nice with it, like expensive hi-fi or a new hydrodynamic E40 sale. High-fidelity disco music? I like high-fidelity anything, sir. Now try again, but lower. Okay, a hundred and three. What about a thousand? A thousand. That's a good sum. Not too small. Not fantastically large. She removes a few notes and hands them to you. The paper is cold and oily to the touch. Whoa, whoa! Did you see how easy that was? Ask her for more. Toot toot. Train to Money Town. Can I have some more? This may seem like odd behavior for a police officer, man, but it's a perfectly common side effect of his unusual medical episode. It's all right, Lieutenant. I really did bring as little cash with me as possible to avoid attention. So here you are, the last bit of filthy lucre I can share. So I hope I didn't just bribe you, officer. It may not be technically illegal under the Emergency Act, but still, um, I don't know what money is. It wasn't a bribe, uh, your honor, because I didn't know what money is. You're right, ma'am, that donations are permitted under the Emergency Act, and seemly as it may be, as long as they are properly Dude, locked with a prison. Dude, I have, I, I have proof, I have a witness, the manager of the restaurant, I was like, what's money? And he's like, you, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I don't know what money is. I, I, I lost my memory. Which he most certainly will do. Now, how else can I help the RCM today besides supplementing its salaries? What can you tell me about the lynching? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. Worry lines crease her forehead, but it's more than worry. In her eyes, a hint of, is that guilt? The information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Okay. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. Why is that, Detective? Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Uh, remember when my partner told you I suffer from unusual medical episode? Yeah, I lost my badge. I see. Uh. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Um, yes. I could have eaten it. I don't know. Oh dear. Hmm. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our I conversation. I ate it accidentally. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid no! I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. She should be open to some Ooh. sort of mutually beneficial arrangement. Negotiate my way out of this. She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. There's another way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. Ooh, how about this tiny commemorative pin I got? Or do you want to look at my racist mug? You're in, but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Check out this mug. 
Thanks, kickboxing donut. Thanks for the five mils. And thanks, slow motion. Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The Union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. They're profiting from this trade. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones. Okay. Or you can recover your badge, though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Hmm. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Okay. Hey. Psst. Look around. Psst. Hey, you. Psst. Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. Should we just stop building love, too? Can't argue with that. So, what about all that communism you've promised to build? Word on the street is, you've woken up from a thousand years of slumber, promising to erect a version of communism, many times greater than any attempted before. Is that true? <laughs> the art of persuasion. Is that supposed to be dick sucking? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, <laughs> eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impale all people who have more than 25 real in their pocket. Literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. That kind of stuff. I didn't say that. Yeah, maybe I did. Funky style, very funky. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Wait, what's communism? Failure. It's about failure. Failure? Yes. Abject failure. Total irreversible. Oh no, I have to behead myself. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped and pissed on. Until you came along. You will reverse the fortune of the I wanna buy a book. You alone. Wait, I could give that lady her pin back. Every living thing. Against every human alive. Eight hundred trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class. Towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers. Million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. I don't need to, um, pay the room. <laughs> I'll you just leave. against the atom, the charm and the spin, where the whole world failed. Matter fell to bend to human will. Human will fail to get out of bed and tie its laces. You alone. I am man, John Communism. You the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. Now get to work, comrade. Yeah. Communism. Oh, yeah. Get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, what firing squads? Too late to back out now. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few million eggs. Mazovian. Socioeconomics. I don't have any more slots, so I can't consider communism right now. Um. Oh yeah, he wanted to talk. Lieutenant's voice is hushed. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteer us to be her henchmen. Oh, we're henchmen? This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Oh. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. He doesn't let it show, but there is a limit to uh -oh. how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. We could, you know, find my badge. Oh, that would be fantastic, but do we have the time? 
The world is large and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. Fuck! You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. We don't investigate the drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union, or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate, briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We oh, okay, her yeah, we could do that. And demand for her information on the lynching. I'm sure you will detect. Yeah, we could do that. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? You seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality. This reality? Yeah, the government. The aim is to gain a deeper understanding. Learning about the world. A sort of spiritual quest. Something of ancient Ilmaran origin. Explain reality. Yes, a spirit quest. You will find him a big fan of the ancient ways. It's part of his condition. Nothing wrong with ancient ways. Our modern ones aren't necessarily better. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. All right, you're in. Begin with the first one. You'll appear worldly. What is this? Spread your hands? What times are these? These are unimportant times, detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. Too late for what? For the big time. Big time! Make it count, play it straight, don't look back, the don't hesitate. No doubt what she's got in mind. What's the big time? The revolution. What's the revolution? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next, who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real kerfuffle. Who got shot in the head? Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists, they all got shot in the head. Oh, shit. She's not gloating. It's a relieved celebration. Oh, and the anarchists, too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Did they shoot back? Did they ever? Before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Sounds like they should have shot more people in the head then. This does not represent the official <laughs> RCM opinion. Don't worry. Class Mazov shot 15 million people in the head. But that was all the way over in Grad. I don't know who that is. Anyone else got shot in the head on the opposing side? Oh, lots of people. Even the king got shot in the head. Or thrown beneath a horse. Or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. Oh. Uh. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. What does abdicate mean? Abdicate. Renounced. Ah. Uh. Coward. Wait. Coward. I prefer the term risk averse. King Guillaume was nobody's fool. He could smell a PR disaster brewing. So he got out alive, and his nephew Frisell got shot in his place. Him and tens oh, of that's thousands Frisell. of his wonderfully fascist kingsmen. It was a wild time. Who got mineral rights? The liberals got the mineral rights. And by mineral rights, I mean everything. And by liberals, you mean... Liberals are usually middle-class people, detective. Or the remaining gentry. The beneficiaries of the pre-revolutionary arrangement. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution. With monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras, or ultra-liberals. They fared well. What? Why did she say they fared well? The revolution lost. So is she being sarcastic? They didn't win so much as survive. 
We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? Oh. To foreign intervention. The coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. Who are the co- But you just said the liberals already took everything. The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. The ocean, the laws, and the people. But if they... They got out scot-free, so they win? But she just said they sh got shot in the head. I'm confused. They survived, but they didn't get shot? The commies in fact kill these the- oh. I thought she said everyone- Oh, everyone else got shot in the head. Okay. The Coalition of Nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper, Messina, Oranje, and Sur Le Clay. The armed center of the world. They landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. There is bitterness in her voice. Tempered with understanding. She is critical but ultimately understands the cause. The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. The rulers of Revachol and also the world. These guys are strong. This is their zone of control. They embolden the RCM with crumbs of the same law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. Wait, so the... So they killed... The, the people that the commies were fighting, too. The foreign the foreigners. The foreigners killed the commies. Wait, but I thought they came and killed everybody. The RCMs and wars where the communists from Revachol got stopped. But I thought the communists in Revachol were fighting... Like, fascist people or something. Huh? The communists fought the monarchists. So the monarchists are the fascist ones. And then the... Oh, okay. They got third partied. Of course. Not easy to be moderate about head shooting in your line of work. Was it a bunch of apes? Why, of course. 
We're talking Duke Out Central. Full swing intraspecies warfare. Were they evil apes? No. I would say the apes were neutral. Um okay. On the other hand, I don't even know who the apes are referring to. No. The monarchists the or the communists. Be it's not their fault. When was this kerfuffle? The turn of the century revolution. <laughs> don't answer it. It's a trick question. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Okay. It wasn't a who. But a what? A pandemic of Zarat, a particularly virulent prion disease, which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Mazulf came along and overthrew the government. What did this Zarad do? It made people overthrow their governments. Really? Of course not. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. Where did it spread? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. And then? Why? You and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. Maybe it's because she has a boat and you have that necktie? A pair of pants? What's the zone of control? A city-state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the Coalition of Nations. And you, of course, the citizens' militia. The clatter of typewriter keys fills the main hall of the reappropriated silk mill precinct 41 chat tilbrook presses enter outside officer elf boy williams slams the door of an armored motor armored carriage. motor carriage the zone of control is the third incarnation of revachol after the failure of the suzerain and the commune i mean the rest of the world modernity they developed the marvels of the inter communication Telematic milieus, radiation, colored plastics. Meanwhile, in Revachol West, the aftermath continues for the fifth decade. How long? 43 years. Hard to fathom, I know. What have we been doing all this time? The 20s saw a decade of urban war, west of the river level, offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. And then? The 30s. Things settled down in the 30s. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven, with the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Were they? No. It was a market mirage fueled by cocaine and quantitative easing. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash. An Isla wide hangover, you might say. And here we are. Welcome to reality, baby. Baby. From the looks of it, the fifties haven't been much better for the zone of control. You can see it in her eyes. Days slipping away. You don't seem to be thrilled. I've no right to be dissatisfied. This shirt is Barbara Muscova. This raincoat is impervious to rain and is guaranteed for a hundred years. My daughters will wear it. No, it's just... Looks like the crumbling tenements paint flecking from the we stone. We could have had so much more. Every one of us. If only we played it right. More? 40 million people died and she's thinking about how she could have had more? What would you have done differently? Good question. What would you have done differently? No, her first. I would have killed more. 400 mil million. I asked you, who are you? And I 
asked you. Past less detective of the citizens' militia. What insight has acute encephalopathy given to you? What the fuck is encephalopathy? Encephalopathy. Group of conditions that cause brain dysfunction. Um. Here's some wisdom, lady. Say the death thing. What's the death thing? I don't know. Medical solution? Um, I don't know. I don't know. And you would have died, most likely. Not far from here. Maybe even right here, during the beachhead, defending the coast the day the Coalition took the city. The cold runs down your spine. She gestures toward the waters. Happily. The wind stops. There is silence on the dark water of the Martinez Inlet. Good. Not that it would have mattered. In the end, the commune forced everyone to the barricades. They are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Can I just shoot her? Anyway, and say enough um, sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? Where are we? We're in Martinez. Baby. Baby? A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. It's a disco holdover, pay it no heed. What's Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachol. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor. North of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. What sea is this? It's not really a sea, it's the Bay of Revachol. Oh. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Yes, we're on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water. She called it the. the what's that fucking fuck ass? The Caillou? Vast, lukewarm. And the fuck ass bald kid flowing in and out of sight. Revachol. Revachol is what you call a city, the great kind. As if it's self explanatory, beyond patriotism, a fact. History detective. They built this city to resolve history. Who? Up the nations of the Occident, or migrant workers from Seminar and in the DeLorean century. Why, why are they resolve they history? It's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. The stuff of men. Damn, we stand here talking for like on a five fertile, hours. Self sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. We're in the center of the world. Oh, we're quite a way off. About... 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Coalition government, Insulindian Mission Command. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. This place is time. a dingleberry. There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. Where are we? Revishaw! We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunately. Oh, I was there. I think. Continue. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Was there something else you wanted to know? Yeah, just I try this. Something about him. Six kilometers Ooh. southwest in the Valley of Dogs. Junior officer Chad Tilbrook takes aim at a rabid black dog licking. 
its wounds in the grass. To his left, his partner, Emil Mollins, whispers, You heard what happened to Tequila Sunset in Martinez? Yes, he lost his mind, Tilbrook answers, fingers on the trigger. Don't worry, Emil. He pulls it out slowly. Slowly now. He'll find it again. Okay. We always do. What am I? You? You're an officer of the RCM. Why? Preciso Mundo. Why? Nothing more nor less than the de facto law enforcement body of post-revolutionary Revachol, detective. Why? Yes, we are the Revachol citizens militia. Are we? We are. Why? Yes, that means not de jure. The RCM acts in what is poetically called the twilight of international law, both at the behest of the coalition government and to its chagrin. Why? The RCM's responsibilities are defined by the Emergency, Wayfarer, and Aliments Acts, three pieces of legislation keeping the city in a, let's be honest, laissez-faire stasis to the benefit of foreign capital. So we are here to protect the interests of money makers and businessmen and foreign business. All three are good to know when we are out policing. I'm a lackey of capital. There's nothing basic about your role, detective. Like all police, it's true yes, that the RCM indeed. It's everything the way our seemingly permanent provisional rulers like it. Yet, on the other hand, I know these people. I deal with them daily. Let me tell you, dear, they are not fans of you. The post-revolutionary decade was a disaster for the coalition government. Revachol in the 20s was hell. Especially on the west side of the I river. Love my cookie. A botched privatization scheme. A nuclear pile meltdown. They called it the international zone because no nation wanted to claim responsibility. The RCM restored peace where the coalition failed. A true blue citizens initiative. They will never forgive you. That's somewhat of an exaggeration. In reality, ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement. Revacholians get to keep the peace in Revachol. And the coalition doesn't have to worry about it. <coughs> anyway, sorry to intrude. Please continue. Yes, Lieutenant. Permit me to conclude with this. Who you are, to me, is the police. The only legitimate law enforcement authority in Revachol. Okay. And if those authorities drink so hard they need help recalling the basic terms of reality, well, I'm here to help. What are you? Hmm. She won't maneuver her way out of What are you? I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. I am an ultra. It's sharp. A liberal! Yes. I am the nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. Dios My kind surrendered Dios. the nation to financial colonists. I can see you thought we'd gone extinct. After all, no sane person identifies as an ultra-liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. Your that's why. That's why she was like, we if we Tell played me, our if we played our cards I'm right, we could have had even myself. more. Are you right? In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decay, forgive her, but only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes. I don't give a shit. A fitting punishment to be forgotten, if not forgiven. Save a prayer for us in our chateaus on Azon and in Stella Maris. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. This was all our last generation Would you have managed. done something differently? With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery. While a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east, light drizzle washing it clean, lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez. And not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake, then for my daughters. We had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. 
We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. She would rather have it because she just wants the more. flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil she... fire on the ocean. You're a patriot? Yes. I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. Seditious talk, ma'am. You have daughters? Yes. Whatever else I am. I'm also a mother. And a wife. What's this? Spread my hands. A bird? A... Svenicid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? What is this place here? Ah! This is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot, or two. A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings... That's very bâtiment. French. After Les Bâtiments Nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not Nouveau. They're old. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high-rise by the standards of the last century. Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before I, the cannons I don't wanna, lost four or five stories off. spend my money on fixing the place to stay. Splat, splat. Oh, shit. A young girl in odd clothes gives Joyce the evil eye. A red paintbrush head held to her throat. Wonderful. What was that? The girl in the old lady rags. Yeah. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Infraculture? Yes. You and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant. Those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. She prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the counterculture. I understand everything. Make it more complicated somehow. I can't. That's how simple it is. Okay. One may dye their hair green and wear their grandma's coat all they want. Cattle has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique capital end up reinforcing it. Sub instead. subsume definition. Absorb. That's true. All right. What next? Goodbye. Glad to have been of assistance. Tell me about the drug trafficking. Know. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Some, someone Wild summarized everything Joyce said. She gave you the history of the battle for power in the people in this town. And it was ruled by monarchists who were fascists and then communism people came and were like communism and then they killed the monarchists and then the coalition foreign government were like everybody stop and killed all the communists and then some other people who are also there fighting with the communists were like we're actually not with them so then all the communists died, and the people that were there ended up relinquishing all power to the foreign government. And then the ultra-libs, who were, like, switching sides, got to, like, salvage some mineral rights and capital, basically. So that's where she comes from. That's why she's on the side of the Giga Corp. And that yeah, they pick they pick the spoils of war. And she basically just give you insight on her opinion on the war and everything. And you have amnesia. And then Ingredients for what, man? And then I forgot what I was going to say. Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and I'm various oh, yeah, synthetic and psychedelics. Um, Honestly, the only, it might be like, quick to say what you can't make from the stuff. The only like actual 
um, form of like authority here is the cops that you're part of, the RCM, but they serve they serve the Giga Corps, and they kind of just like they're like a volunteer group of people too. They serve in. Yeah, so they- there's like- yeah, 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 I- how do I work? Like, there's no real cops, yeah. Because this- and then they say, like, this place is just kind of, a. Uh, it just kind of floats on its own, but doesn't have its own government. And then the foreign government don't really want to be super directly involved either. Oh, people are colonizing it? Yeah, okay. It's a militia. Militia of some volunteers, too. Because it's where the communism started. Oh. Um... Meth. Dexer 2. Amphetamine. Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter. North of here. While Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces Foreign government is using it as a colony it? and exploiting it. Oh yeah, that's why the Union workers are upset, because they're being exploited. And they're trying to raise it, rise up against the corporate... The corporations that are also operating in the foreign government countries. And they are very upset, and that's how it all ties in. And then, and 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 we have to sell scrap is our to meet quota. To know. And no, as far as the company knows, the union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. You want us to yes, investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everart and the dock workers' union. Still, and there's a bracket. Every chain has its weak link. Um, okay, what do you mean? The lorries. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. Okay. But in transit, they are vulnerable. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. Uh, Kim said to help her, but don't, help, but don't shipment. tell her. So that she could give us info. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. What proof do you have the unions involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dot workers going strong for the fourth month straight. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents... She thinks the union is dealing drugs. ...two thousand men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Do you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. It sounds like she tried looking into it herself, but she's clearly not the type your typical lawyer would confide in. She could be lying. Why didn't you come to RCM earlier? I did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. And then they sent both of us, because... We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Hmm. Well, here's your chance, officers. He seems very convinced that the Union is doing drug stuff. Proceed? Yes. Wait, if I take the case, uh, I want to take the case, I want to find out trade secrets. 
I don't have- I- wait, I don't know if this, like, does this mean I actually have to tell her the- what, what I find out? Cause- can, can I take the case but then not tell her what I find out? You can just not do it? Okay. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. Okay. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I suspect the traffic jam won't disperse for a few more days. You should have the time you need. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. More lessons in basic reality? Glad to have been of assistance. Of course, detective. Goodbye. White morning. Plus 20% zoom out distance. I can't internalize new stuff. Compressor? Volumetric shit compressor. Your shit is apart. To achieve a solid level of shit compression, squeeze your butt cheeks together for 30 minutes. <sighs> you can forget thoughts. Oh, but you have to... I'm gonna sh I'm gonna squeeze my shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shit. Okay. I'm shitting. Hey. Yes. What do you want to know? You mean like a brief? There's no reason. Three days ago, the, during that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. They didn't identify themselves. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. It's okay, the same. Well, good. It's the same dialogue. It's in here. Dirty metal door. Knock. The door rattles against your Knock head. again. The door rattles again. But this time, you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. Who am I speaking to? Doesn't matter who I am. Police, open no, up! <laughs> the police. Everyone knows the police. Please let me inside. It's cold. Here. No. I already told you. I won't be responsible Stop for resisting! <laughs> the building. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. We're real policemen. Madame, I assure you, we are real police officers. There is no reply. Hit me. <laughs> There's red paint. Hello. The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. I wonder how much money I made for my bottles. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? They I want to see her and Kuno fight. I, the last time I was tested for Hep C. Yeah, when were you last tested? Had a battery of tests just last week. I'm practically a patchwork of interesting critters. Kind of like a man of war. Do you know anything about the murder? I ain't no snitch, pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. Okay. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. My manner. scalp is itching. Maybe I have worms. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. Fucko! What are you looking at? 
The lieutenant is desperately searching for another handkerchief. He's looking at Joyce. Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish face. I got scalp worms. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Where did her head go? Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. I have scalp worms. Oh, she's looking down. Oh, what's a zon? It's where they grow whores like her and their whore men. Whores where? Wild and negativity. Have you got a crush on her? Aching for an opportunity to defend her honor. Um, no. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural. Poor men and women. Thanks, Liz Carr. Visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. You don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffiti? -o? When faced with a blank Thanks, wall, most people write unimaginative stuff. Like pigs go home and Mona was here. We rarely see pigs round here though. Just union cats. And my name's not Mona, so. She wants it to be something true and total. Why are you so committed to defecating? This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. I thought I'd mix it up, you know. I have an opinion. Yeah? I love public art. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sure the inspiration will come to me. Thanks, Gwen. Now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. You've Thank lessened you. her desire to deface the building. Oh. Oh yeah, cause she's an anarchist. She's like anarchist. Watch your back, Ungular. You have to you tell her that you hate it, and then she'll do it even more. <laughs> she's just an edgy kid. Oh, a can. I need these bottles. Give me this. Kim, get out of the way. I got bottles to pick up. Yeah. What's over here? Maybe I can open this if I... have this? Ooh, a coat. <laughs> Minus one half light. What a suggestion. Charming, okay. With my little hobo hat. So charming right now. Oh, there's more cans to pick up. Can I go up here? There must be an ah! Alright, hold on. I want to find out how much money I can make from these bottles. The body that I can't. It's too stinky. Hello again, sir. Are you okay, sir? I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. What's your name? My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns the store. She's inside minding the register or organizing the stock. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. And you're standing here in the cold because? I'm signaling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. Oh. They'd miss out on the crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face, smiling. But she's cold. Um, I could help by brutally dismantling the free market. Thank you, sir. I'm glad to help mum out with the story. She doesn't seem to understand what you said. What is romance? It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Have a good day, y'all, Nessie. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. 
It's about man and lady business, sir. What if both men are bad? These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. What if it's written really well? Well, maybe. I don't know what she when I just got. Maybe if the look. lady then decides not to pick either because she doesn't need a bad one. Yes, that would be interesting. Let me see. Oh, let me open up Steam to see what I just got. Um. I, yeah, I got the communism. I got biggest communism builder. <laughs> what about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. What about when everyone is poor? That's really not a proper romance story. <laughs> That's more like everyday life. Yeah, poor people are boring. I guess, yes. People in books are always very interesting, especially the romance people. What about a book where the man and lady business don't work out? I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mum. Yeah, you think she has one about an excruciating, painful breakup? I don't think it's a romance story if the main characters break up, though. No, no, think about it. One where they plunge into a torrid, torrid spiral of pain and recrimination. Only it's really long and drawn out. Scarred for life. Phantom limb. Um, no, I don't know. I'm scaring her. You can take this. Yeah, this yeah, and it drags on for years and years with no resolution in sight. The girl. Each of you filling words. with resentment and bitterness for having ruined each other's lives! She shifts and sways on her feet. Look, stop. There's no each of you place. tearing at the other's innards, it's leaving no a gaping emptiness, a vacuum heart that still hurts ceaselessly. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, shit. I don't know how to help you. Uh, let me take some magnesium. I don't need help. I need a real book that tells how it is, not this drivel. Sir, sorry, sir. I'm still little. I, I don't, I can't. It's time to leave it be. You're about to make a child cry. Are you proud of yourself? Let's make her cry. Activate n denial mode. You're not really an automaton. You do know that. Fuck! Little girl, pardon the deviation. I wish to discuss books. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> I wanted to try to make her cry. I have to pee again. I'm gonna go look for snacks. I'm hungry. I got something weird. I don't know what this is. 
What is this? Oh shit. Oh, it's good. It tastes like, um... It tastes like, um... It tastes like it's n a nut. Mmm, this is really good. I like this. Mmm. It tastes like the green nut. Oh, it tastes like pistachios. I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mom keep this place running. School? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street, and the people there run it. They say it's a charity. The gale wind blows in from the coast, a wind of needles. It wraps itself around a building of I want another one. water. Somewhere, a clamor rings through the honeycomb of classrooms. Remorse, the parquet of assembly halls, the rows of stall bars are growing cold. The corridors stand empty. The girl's voice somehow finds its way through this strange feeling. You haven't heard a word of what she's been saying these past few moments. You only hear. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. She's talking about the back, back, um, thingy that I opened. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You sense the boards creaking, twisting for a second. The back kind rooms. Of doubt. In a... Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go... Ass up. <laughs> I wouldn't really say it like that, but I guess so. I should look into this. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. Face down, yes. ass up. Please do also look at our wares inside. The postcards I'm gonna are get more there, weird pistachio almonds. <laughs> Base, 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 yeah. Base, 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 base. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were asking about romance novels. But Kim, the plasmic manifestations. No such thing. Girl dinner, pistachio nut, and yakult. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? I like chewing teeth. Look at I'm eating all my teeth. Nothing really, sir. Mum doesn't allow me to sneak around in the back rooms or the cellar. I don't really know what's there. Squeaky. Why is it so squeaky? Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. 
and the work of a police. I think Christian books fucking suck. I flushed it. I got criminals. so bored. It's exciting to people, I guess. They get to imagine dangerous things. Is and, and then like there were puzzle. none even good. You can guess who the criminal is, or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm trying to limit myself to one berserk volume a day. Otherwise, I'm gonna finish it too ha too fast. Yesterday, I read volume four. I am the law. You don't look much like a policeman. Um, what does a cop look like then? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. I am Dick Mullen. I used to be exactly like Dick Mullen. What's that mean? And everything's better now, sir? Why is that? Oh, okay. I shouldn't have said that thing about Dick Mullen. Twenty teeth. I'm chewing all my teeth. I'm eating my fifth garlic clove of the day. Yummy garlic cloves. She looks at Dick Mullen, frowning. Dark, arrogant, violent, likely overcompensating for something. That's not a healthy look. Muscles get bigger, heart grows weaker. Muscle training is flower arranging for men? What's flower arranging for women? I bet he thinks he's real manly like that. He isn't. It's just unhealthy. Probably got a violent streak because he's emotionally stunted? What? She examines the cover, trying to gauge the inner workings of the detective. Emotional ineptitude is no way to cop. He can't compare to my sensitive soul. This is how insecure guys talk about buff guys. Of course not, sir. He's just a fictional character. He'll be no match for you. Maybe you can show the trauma some trauma dumping on a random sir. child. Like yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to deduce something. You fail to deduce Shit. anything substantial. She waits intently. I deduce that you are very small. Come on, don't be silly. That's not a proper deduction. Okay. Volumetric shit compressor. Bizarre scientific news from Revachol West today, where a police officer's shit has been <laughs> observed at a pressure of around 495 gigadecimals. These metallic hydrogen levels of shit togetherness were thought to exist only at the center of collapsing stars, not law officials. It remains to be seen how long the shit singularity lasts. Holy fuck. I have a collapsing star mass in my asshole from how tight I'm clenching. Endurance. Fuck yeah. Um, can I take the corpse down now? Also, I saw a bottle here. Give me that. Coming up in the world. There he still is, looking. Right oh yeah! Deep. Plus six! Shit's compressed, baby! Is entirely dead. As you breathe in, 
The odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Inspect the boots. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the ceramic flesh boots above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for oh, padding. My head kind of hurts. A fine Maybe array it's... of interlocking plates. I think I ate them. too many garlic cloves. Fragile. They feel alien to the world around you. What kind of boots of are these? Somehow. They're armor, no boots. Oh, okay. Technically speaking, these are sabatons. What kind of armor is this? Can British spelling? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T five hundred VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Suddenly, your biceps coil up, your elbows sharp and cocked for a punch. Your fist connects to the boot with the same ding. The sound does not appear to get louder. Did you hear that? A click? Yeah. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally from plate oh. to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. That's See what they lines? make a superhero armor out of. Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are Guys, hundreds of them all together. The garlic cloves I ate is starting to give me a headache. Like the scales of some I, I took some Advil though. Monster, cracked Un but curly. like the thing is, this Advil... Oh god. Why is this bottle from 2001? I don't know how old this Advil is. guys but then my dad um just puts in stuff in different um <laughs> bottles sometimes <laughs> Wait, this bottle's older than 9-11 Fuck, it does predate 9-11. No, the bottle predates it. The, my dad said that just takes medicine out. You know what? I'm throwing this away. That shit is probably old as fuck. Um Hold the boot off. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Yeah, grab the boot under my arm. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop! Why? Pig's gonna pull his head off. Oh, so? so. <laughs> Let go. What's wrong with you, asshole? Why is he letting Goku know? <laughs> I don't know, baby. I don't know why he's such a... Officer, if I may ask, 
What were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? I don't know. How could this man afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbor Company. But that's just hearsay. Um, initial report? You sure it's even Advil? Well, yeah, just it says Advil on it. From my station. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. But I'm pretty sure the bottle, like, even my dad sometimes just reuses old bottles and he'll, like, take stuff out and then put an old bottle but i've had that bottle for years so i'm pretty sure that shit even even though the container predates 9-11 i'm pretty sure the medicine inside is also expired he's not actually sure of that he's just being tactful um these look pretty advanced for security guard i agree this equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford Where's the rest of it? Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. We should keep a look Yeah, but usually when piece. medicine expires, it's just less effective. Or this just is doesn't one thing work. He might actually know. Otherwise, it'll just make me stronger. You could look at the shape on the pill, really? Let me see. Thanks, Jeva Kathy. I don't see a number on it. It just says Advil. It's the liquid gels. No number on it. No, the pi the pills aren't from 2001. Why is it green? The, it, it is green. The liquid gel Advil pills are green. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. Bro, I'm not stealing a dead man's sabatons. Maybe he's just wearing the boots and there's no rest of the armor? Why does my mortal coil need protecting? Yes. Bullets will fly. They always do. Liquid Avil was only green before 9-11. No, it's Cast not! In ceramic shell. No! Resist death. I don't know why my head hurts. Um maybe he was just wearing those boots and there's no rest of the armor. No, I think he had something precious underneath the clothes. They had to remove the jeans and shirt with <laughs> he took the liquid ass and this pills. Kind of armor is often worn instead of liquid fabrics. Advil. No, I did not take the liquid ass pills. It's the liquid gel Advil. They're green. I'm pretty sure they're green. Liquid gel Advil. Yeah, look, they're green. They look like this. And they're a little bit see-through. These ones. <laughs> that photo's from 1998. No, it's not. Liquid gel Advil. It's a thing they make in Canada. It's green. No. Medications don't really expire. Exactly! Like, even if it expires, it would just be less effective. Or just not work at all. It's not, like, gonna poison you. Um, what if they told him to strip him? What if they told him to strip him? What if they told him to strip before they hung him to demean him? They usually hang them completely naked for that. 
La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmertis and the like. This one still has his underpants. Okay. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Underpants. The material looks out of place here. It is. It's expensive. Ooh. Braden. Oh, I thought he touched his underpants. But he's touching the boots. Liquid gel Advil banned in 1976 for causing car accidents. That's not true. Thanks, Levida. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. For a full set, about four years of wages. Kaching, baby! Not the boots! By kaching, do you mean let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them? No! What was that about the yes. constabulatory before? You need to push some buttons if you want to recruit the lieutenant in a conspiracy. Um... No. Well... <laughs> that is what kaching means, yes. Mm -hmm. It means disciplinary hearing. Okay, fine. Back off, look at the corpse. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Inspect the belt. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Industrial strength. The can used for tying cargo to lorries. What's a lorry? Like a truck? A large, heavy motor vehicle for... Okay, like a truck. Okay. Like in a circus. When the circus leaves town, and they tie a black-spotted giraffe to the wall of a carry pen. Like in a circus for transporting black-spotted giraffes. Uh... No. No, like in uh, Harbor. Like the one just east of here. I get a sense they used whatever was on hand, without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. We're assuming dock workers did it? I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? I really want to go to a circus. Like a human circus. No. You feel like it was something else. But what? Yeah, no, like no animals because they they get abused. So I want to see people like bend and jump through hula hoops and stuff. You know, like those kinds where they do some crazy acrobatic stuff. I want to watch those. Like Cirque du Soleil. I've never been to a Cirque du Soleil. Just go to Vegas. I don't like Vegas. I want to see people get abused. Um, well, yes. Yes. I can excuse abusing people, but I draw the line at abusing animals in a circus. Do they 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 force people to be a circus? Do they? I thought people do it because they enjoyed it. They keep the people in cages for Cirque du Soleil? It's disco time? What about- what about- what about circuses now? They steal children and raise them to work there? Really? The circus kidnaps people? Really? They made your grandma do a flip. <laughs> they have a rotating stock of grandmas that they force to do flips. And it has a really high turnover because they do a flip and then when they die, they say next grandma. Yes, it often is. This bed worries me. <laughs> I turn over. 
Oh yeah, funny pun. <laughs> Meemaw. It's not merely polyester. They it's still shot reinforced. Down. See these oh, lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than gonna something. take being shot out the cannon. Can you volunteer your grandma to the circus? Um, it's not really polyester, it's steel reinforced. Wow. On the on the thing. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. How did they even get him up there? A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Huh. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt, buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing out there. Huh. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, <laughs> limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. Inspect the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. The he a stormtrooper? He might be. Around his heart. His corpse is marked by stars. Will mine be marked by? Alcohol and heartbreak. Oh, okay. Your fist clenches suddenly. It will be riddled with disco! Decay is creeping on the tattoo. Okay. Already, most of the canvas that's holding it has darkened. Now, it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. Thanks, your boy Dookie. Is this a map of the night sky? A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. I don't think I should have eaten. Customized somehow. I shouldn't have eaten ten garlic cloves. And then t took a pre 9 11 liquid Advil. As if someone left that most of the night sky, filtering it through personal choice. The principle of this filter remains unknown to you. The thought dissipates, and you feel as though you were only half then I, right. Then I took. Then I. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah, cults. Girl dinner. So <laughs> He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Let's let him work. What is it? A true get sunshine. Mini. What? Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? Yeah, she put it towards... A missing <laughs> color camera. Oh! He produces two metal capped ampules and clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot shines there. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. I have only two ampules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. He points the camera at the corpse, peering into it. The lens needs adjusting, and that's ah! it. A flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. Wow, that's really pretty. I like how his bulge and bloated stomach is perfectly rotund. Um, very nice. In case we need it. A color perfect copy of the dead man's tattooed chest. Cool machine. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Quick, there could be a hidden Gwent card under his balls. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter, to us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Can I have it? Sure, just don't lose it. Okay. The glassy-eyed corpse looks by, 
his mouth mute, and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just sub-aquatic terrors. Can your eye yeah. actually pop out from enough of a blunt force to the head? Maybe, I, I guess maybe if the angle hits it. Yeah, really? Yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking of Glenn. Happened to your buddy? What happened? Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. His eye freaking fell the freak out. Really? <laughs> Did they put it back? Yeah, it, he was fine. We got Subway after. I don't believe you. Underneath the curdled meat, there is an expression. Not carried on his features, but below, inside. An expression of pleasure. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. Tell me, who are you, dead man? I'm gone. What the fuck? Where? Into the wild pile. Oh my god, yonder. I'm talking to the dead body. Where that? In the past. Way out in the west. Who are you? I'm a jerk. Look at me. You were you are now, but who were you when you were alive? A killer. A motherfucker. And a killer. Really? I have another question. Go ahead, Copa. What does that mean? What's happening? I hate you. You stink. Why are you feeling pleasure when you died? Wait, I don't wanna lock I don't wanna be locked out of any con uh, questions. What do you mean? I'm talking to you. It's the power of your imagination. Oh. Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to the you. The corpse has your nothing wild left to say. Is doing this. Ask some more the of corpse those regards you lifelessly. So he loves those. Why are you feeling pleasure when you died? Yeah, I'm scared to ask too much. Let me ask this first. Maybe I was getting my rocks off. So you were feeling sexual arousal and they're hanging you? Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation type to you? <laughs> yes. Captain Copadromo. I fear we are drifting away, fixating on sexuality again. Let's go with a simpler question. Maybe I was getting my... What dialect is that? It's a mishmash, Copabolo. You think I'm Messinian, don't you? For you, this is how people from Messina speak like. Are you from Messina? No. My hair is too <laughs> light a shade of brown. My eyebrows too. Trust your inner racist. What are you, racist now too? You think I am. You think I was a racist because this lump looks military and has tattoos. That's called profiling. Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation type to you? Captain Copadroma. Oh no. Why do I, I love questions are so drifting much? Because you're a coparoon. I still haven't had Fusilli. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me a calm, cool amount of questions. Coming right up, Copper Rooney Rooney. Is my name this Rooney? This is getting up, B. Fuck no. You're no Rooney. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Costo. Listen to yourself. You're not a Raphael anything. You're probably just Harry or something. Am I really Harry? That's right. You can be anything you want. 
Bravo Corpo. Who killed you? Love did me in Bravo Corpo. Why do I you feel like I've forgotten something enough. terrible? Because you have. Can you ask me a question? So is Kim just watching me? Am I saying this out loud? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes, standing here. Why are you investigating my murder? As Kim told me to. You're a lying sack of shit, Coppa. Oh, okay, sure. You're doing this because there is nothing else to do. Everything else is over. It's you just stink. me now. Do I remind you of someone? A deep sea creature. Was Harlequinism? No, not quite. Be fair now. Myself. There you go. Look at that bright kid. We're birds of a feather, you and I. Don't look it up. Why? Soon now I want to know. Harlequinism. Just keep drinking and having a good time. It's a matter of weeks. My God. So they just don't have skin? Har Harlequinism. Holy shit. They look like salami. They look like, like some kind of weird salami. Oh my god, it's like carrot- they have scales. That's- oh shit. Feeling nausea? Vomiting? Tenderness or pain around the liver area? Tiny red lines on the skin above waist level? More like days, Coppo. The clock is ticking. Your liver tells you so. I guess you're just doomed to die. Come back later, Corpo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dreams. Ah. Squint and take a step back. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent Nine. mess of green and pink. Uh, Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. I'm squinting, Kim. Why am I doing it? How should I know why you are squinting, officer? His face and hands are pink, thighs too. The rest is greenish. Oh. <laughs> you are trying to assess lividity. What does that mean? The monster comes back into focus. An explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. <laughs> his stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? Um, I think he's dead. I agree. There are crow's feet in his eyes. He's laughing silently. Totally dead. Dead, 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 dead. Dabba doob doob dead. He says without a hint of melody, not one muscle in his face moves. Something's coming out of him. Wait, what do you think? I think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in his hands and feet, and his neck. The noose acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis here is in tune with the hanging. There should be That's shit crazy. and piss everywhere too. You immediately sh well maybe not immediately, but you do shit yourself when you die. So consider that. Maybe he was strangled? Yes, there's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Che he ass. Something's coming out of him. A pool of blood and feces has eaten oh. into the frozen mud below the man's feet. There we go. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. 
The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. Wow, he's a digestion expert. You also yell when you die? Really? The fuck he's saying? Hey! Back. Shit. Hey, goddamn right! Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. Sounds like seagulls. <laughs> Big said he's a f <laughs> The lieutenant's face is made of stone. He's beaten up. See the bruises? I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal like. Back off. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. How do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? Okay, let me have we another look. We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. Of course. Okay, I got it. Come back later. Yep, we're done. Let's get him down. Mm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. Why don't we saw the branch? Climb up there and saw the branch? Yeah. I don't trust that ladder. The assailants didn't use it. Okay. It's rotten and less sturdy than it looks. Honestly, I prefer a non-acrobatic solution to this. Okay. There has to be a less risky way. With less Can we shoot him down? Yeah! Bang bang time pig! Shoot his head off! How? Oh. I don't know, just shoot the belt. It absolutely will not, officer. That's not how physics work. It will well, I could do it if this was an FPS action game. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the Kuno with some shit. I think it's Cam June. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. On one hand, he wants to shoot some gun. On the other... Let me try. I'm better stupid. with it. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He appears too deep in concentration to even notice what you said. Do it. I'll blow his head off. Take it! Take the shot! Yeah, take the shot! Kuno wants some of that shit! Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a light oh! firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scout. Wait, let me do it, let me do it. gives the cartridge five times. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. Let's not distract him, say nothing. He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the nothing happened. of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. Maybe we just killed some guy in the back. He feels bad about it. About his eyes, mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Whatever you do, do not console him. Fuck you, idiot! <laughs> Kuno could have hit it easy, um, but then Kuno is not fucking now handicapped, is he? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down with all the assistance. Can I have the gun? I should try. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Yes! I only have one gun! This is the sorriest pair of pigs my turn, my Kuno's turn. ever seen. Yeah, take it, you fucking banani boyka. Take it and shoot yourself in the map. The cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. I could give myself one more... Um... I don't know what this does. Pain threshold. And I coordination. Oh yeah, let me see. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth. The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. 
don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? Hey! At least you won't. No miss. slurs on the crime scene. This is a mere boundary pushing. Oh god. There is a true suicidal rage in the kid as she's provoking you. Point the gun at Kuno S. Continue. You feel as though it would be dangerous to set this creature free. <laughs> I just did it. It's just a joke. Don't. Do it! Pull the trigger? I can't. Point the gun at the belt. Intense shit, copper. I just did it as a joke. Can't wait this gun. It wasn't intense. Oh, it was it's even thing. lower now. Close your left eye. Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming no. entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the evening light as the corpse slowly rotates. Fuck. As you wait, your breathing slows down. Some mosquito-like organism buzzes. What about in your did I shot put in the bowl so far? Look, he's crying. You gonna cry? Say now? shut up. What? You gonna fuck me? You wanna fuck? Me pick. Ew! Is that what this is about? No! Low. Um. Okay, don't shoot. Well! It's only gonna be one level. It's ass. Fuck it, do it. Accept changes. Explodes into tiny pieces, coming loose with a whir. Damn! With your hand numb from the recoil, you look at the body slump down. For a moment, the man you're an artist, mate. In front of you, looking straight at you, helpless, trapped within itself. Who killed you? Communism. Oh, okay. It takes a millisecond for the association to flash within your cortex. You have no idea where it's coming from. I'm the faker I mean, of Disco right. Elysium. Then the rigor in his <laughs> muscles gives up, and he smashes sideways into the spring mud, letting out a horrid stench. You've been policed. Ace is high. Slap it. Yeah. The lieutenant takes a little hop to perform the customary salutation. Your palm hurts from the slap. It's precise and down to the point. I want to sell my bottles. I knew these guys were f What? Yeah, got a problem? Kuno cracks with laughter. <laughs> Sounds like someone strangling a seagull. It's clear he enjoys himself. I knew they suck each other off. What? We will perform a field autopsy and determine the cause of death. But before... Excuse me. He turns to turn away from the corpse. It looks like I feel like taking a break from the stench. I'm sorry to interrupt the jubilations here. Just a little breather before we do the autopsy. Here's the gun back. In the meantime, we should try to interview Evrard Claire, the leader of the Union. Oh yeah. Harbour property was clearly used Where's in the, the um, place the where I can sell software. stuff? Getting in might prove a challenge though. I would also suggest we interview Joyce, the Wild Pines representative. But we've already done that, Sal? so okay. good for us. One down, one to go. This is the famous list of initial interviews? Yes. And those were the interviewees. Let's go. The rotting man lies on his side, with his eyes looking straight through you. The belt is still around his neck. His body is supine. What does supine mean? Supine definition. Lying face upward. Okay. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. What exactly is a field autopsy? Come on, officer. You know what a field autopsy is. You've done a hundred of them. Clap my gloved hands. Let's get in there. There truly is a time for everything, even for yellow gardening gloves. However, 
they are lacking hygienically. Yeah, I couldn't I find any other. Get in there in limited capacity. All right. I'll ask you when I need you to. For the most part, maybe I should handle the contact and you take notes. I borrowed gardening gloves. That's right. You knew it because you inspected your ledger. The lieutenant is relieved yeah. you know the protocol. Open my ledger at the field autopsy form. The dead man stares in silence as you crack open the ledger. The bright red paper is covered in boxes and lists describing the condition of his skin and organs in three parts. Above those, an 11 field info form needs filling out first. It Begin. begins with... That's you. Oh, fuck. Leave it empty. The corpse lies there, indifferent to your retrograde amnesia. I don't the know my name. Box says... Foreigner case number. KK57-0803-2. Okay. Next, NA. Next, NA. Hmm. Roughly 50. Roughly the corpse 50. looks ageless, like meat. Yeah, Kim said he wanted a break, but he seems fine. Teeming with opportunistic microorganisms, letting out a foul smelling diamine compound. Your eyes turn watery. Excuse me. Ace is high. He likes high fives. Ace is low. I'm gonna... Ace is high. Yeah, I like high fives. Mondial. The pudgy mess of curdled meat looks neither Mondial nor anything other. <laughs> fucky fucky! Male. <laughs> Pigs could have sex! Right, male. Nor does he look male with his pregnant belly and indistinguishable face. We're still going with March 4th, 51. What else? Nine. Body identified by is non applicable. Ten. Case number. I didn't know he was. I didn't case. know the two ways. KK 57 Listen. Maybe I'll still have time to with go to the bottles. Still and around his neck. Only one box remains. None. At least not after the initial examination. A strange word. Treatment. Yeah. Um, what exactly is treatment? Interfering with the body's position or wounds post-mortem. Oh yeah, there's... Don't overdo it. It's I'm not okay so sure. sure. A silent nod. The lieutenant places his gloved hand on the corpse's chest, as if in preparation. Your central nervous system recognizes this gesture. It's the stations of the breath. Ecclesiastic, religious in nature, a holdout from pre-Delorean burial rites. It takes him two seconds to perform. Then, somewhere in Jamrock North, a small wood shed behind Rosencrantz Row, Lieutenant Nick Feuerbach puts his hand to the chest of a small corpse, no larger than a monkey. It's raining outside, like drizzle. There is darkness in the shed. Okay. Elsewhere yet, an obese female sits in a wicker chair, her silhouette ball-like against the window. Outside, Grand Coudon, the day is turning dim for Sergeant Mac Dawson. Hand extended. He oh, it's procedure. They to touch. To make sure she is dead more than like anything this. else. The building is tall, seven stories wind wrapped in solitude. Most of the apartments are unoccupied. This was a suicide, the other, an accident, the small one. And so. All across Jamrock, Coal City, G-R-I-H. 42 deceased persons found today. 42 stations of breath. Ah. Uh -huh. We should start the post-mortem. Everybody goes like this. The corpse cannot feel Kim's hand on his chest. 
it no longer meaningfully interacts with its surroundings. A thicket of boxes and lists on red copy of paper tries to answer why. External examination summary. Clothes. The deceased wears armored boots and white briefs. The make of the briefs is Babrodin, I think. Let's see. That's the fucking wrong hand, idiot. Oh, see, it's happening. Babrodin, yes. Inexpensive. Size M. Color white. The disappointment is palpable. The red-haired thing was expecting something. The more thing. <laughs> the boots are ceramic. Vitreous enamel. They are fused to his skin from blood flowing down war post mortem. Removal of the boots is left for processing. Tattoos. Did I get a tattoo that says life is a journey in really big cursive font across my back and then tattoo Yon's face looking wistfully into the distance. The upper torso is covered in a single continuous like, tattoo. Exactly in this pose, right under the, right the life the is a journey text. Daft smile. <laughs> Thanks, Valkanite. Life is a journey. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Uh, upper torso covered in single containers resembling a map of the night sky reaches from the right shoulder to the heart. The ink is blue and white. The assistant has a color photograph of the markings to be added to the case files as document A1. That, but the intentionally visit the worst reviewed tattoo me. artist. Oh my god. <laughs> Life is a journey. The deceased has a cargo lashing belt around his neck, tied with a hangman's knot. Color, yellow. Length, three meters. There is a buckle on the other hand. Well nourished, athletically built, measuring 1.8 meters, generally consistent with age, about 50. Preservation is good, ambient temperature below freezing. Body hair is light brown, distribution is consistent with Cubic age. Cubic hair? The deceased had male pattern baldness, hair is combed back, short. Touch his hair. The hair under your latex fingers feels cold to touch, wet. Stroke his hair gently. The stench is suffocating. Strands of dark brown hair start sticking to the latex of the glove, like thread of a rag doll's head. Keep petting him. More hair sticks to the glove. Hair off the rain-soaked head of a dead man. There are bumps and dips on the skull below. An alien landscape. There, there, dead man. You were someone's child. It's all over now. There, there, baby. The lieutenant watches you in silence. <clears throat> Short, light brown, male pattern baldness. That was some sick shit, Sekopa. <clears throat> Lividity is consistent with hanging. The <clears throat> head is congested. Contusions are present on the head, <clears throat> chest, and thighs. Consistent <clears throat> with stones thrown. Low velocity. Fucking low velocity. You think Kuno doesn't know what you're talking about? Velocity was fucking max. What? Talking shit about Kuno's velocity. Oh, the oh. <laughs> In addition, there are bite I marks was on about the, the face, scalp, and chest. Bite marks? Consistent with predation. Ligature mark. Fuck? Oh, the birds, like... Birds don't bite, they peck. The steel wiring. Ah, there's too much of it. We need to remove the bell so we can get to the ligature mark. They do bite? What are you, a fucking bird? You got Shut just up. the right tool for that. The chain cutters. Oh yeah, I'm prepared. Hit the chain cutters. The hanged man lets out a joyous little bubble of rot from his nose. Good thing we got these. Always good to think ahead. Now... He points to the rope, squeezing the dead man's neck. We need to cut the belt to see the ligature mark below. Carefully. 
with as much precision as it was crazy how many serial killers there were in the 80s in the 60s is like the dudes were just going around killing people it, it, insane see my pig is gonna fuck his head off no he ain't your pig's a boring fuck Cut the belt off. After some deliberation, you sink the cutters into the knot tying the belt together. You squeeze the rubber handles together, sweat forming on your brow. Snap. The knot is slashed. Another cut and the belt falls apart like a flower bouquet, revealing the dead man's neck and the I dark really red ligature mark recluse. around it. The rope rises to a point, leaving a gap in the ligature mark. The suspension point is in the back of the neck. Wait, if I fuck up, there's no way his head cuts off. That's a it, that's a phenomenal fuck up. As it ought to. This is where its grip on the curdled meat is gentlest, pulling up. Hemorrhaging is observed on the skin, above and below the ligature mark. The mark is well pronounced. Consistent with a drop from I'm drunk. I'm not drunk. Meters. I'm hungover. Chest is intact. Normal contour. Abdomen is protuberant. Pelvis intact. Genitalia. It pulls down the man's underpants. No! <laughs> Let's get off and see! Am I actually I'm not drunk. I no, I mean my it. game character is hungover. I have not touched the devil's liquor. Thanks, Nifant. This is clearly what they've been waiting for ever since the autopsy began. The lieutenant is trying to make it as boring as possible. The, the blood of Christ. Genitalia is male and unremarkable. No evidence of injury. Does it look like he was enjoying his moment of death? Ah, yes, your hunch before. We can have a semen analysis requested from processing, if that's what you meant. Male and unremarkable. Most genitalia is unremarkable. Is this supposed to be? You don't want it to be remarkable. That means it probably has warts or some shit. Why? Thanks, wholesome boy. Yes. Processing science, that's what I meant. Mm-hmm. Just write down that we request an analysis. The corpse with his pants down does not have an opinion on the subject. All he has is genitals and a deathly odor. Inspect his genitals. The dead man's penis is average sized. See, average sized. The downward collection of blood. The testicles are uneven in length, hanging underneath. The genitalia is greenish. Marbling is present around the crotch. Ew! Write it down. Add semen sample. Back is symmetrical and intact. Upper and lower extremities are intact, but asymmetrical. There are combat injuries on the right hand, thigh, and hip. Dead man's penis. Bullets have bitten little pieces out of him. It must have been excruciating, especially the hip. Before you is a temple of pain, that new little tenderness. Balls are uneven. One ball needs to hang hang slightly lower than the other for like temperature regulation. In addition, I see smaller residual scars, too numerous to count, covering about 30% of his skin. This is the body of a soldier mercenary. What am I, a ball? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did I know? I real museum. read about it. Battle. Wars. When I learned about the body in like ninth grade. Last item. Hands. Pick up the hand. His flesh is cold. Icy. Pleased to meet you. Where are you from and what's your name? I don't know my name. I'm only fucking with you. I know where you're from. From Cappadocia, and your name is Il Corbo. What can I do you for, Il Corbo di Cappadocia? 
It's good to hold your hand. Did you like it when I stroke your hair? Pleasure's all mine. Tell me, are you a temple of pain and a stranger to tenderness? Do I go with the BDSM or do I go with the weird, um... I forgot the word for that. They're both weird. Necrophilia. Alright, necrophilia it is. Well, it's not really necrophilia. I did, Kobo. I did. Reminded it's wholesome. Me when I was just a small boy. Before this happened to my face. It's wholesome. And my body. You did me a kindness there. Yeah. It's a daily thing. We should do this more often. Be close like this, I mean. Hands are clean. No sign of injury from struggling. I'm hearing strange thoughts. Were we expecting any? I was. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. Honestly, this stench is making it hard for me to think at the moment. Working so close salt? to the fumes coming from the corpse must be hard. You realize suddenly that the lieutenant has been barely keeping it together these past two items. Ooh. That's all for the external. Well done. What next? Internal. Central nervous system. I have nothing. I don't know. Do you have anything on this man's central nervous system? No. We don't even have a joke. No. Nope. Musculoskeletal. Purge fluid is coming from the mouth. Not injury related. Eyes and tongue protuberant. Hairy bone. Let's see. Should I buy a behelet necklace? With his for eyes fun. almost closed, the lieutenant puts his hand on the dead man's throat and begins to massage it. Gently, a rotting smell erupts from the mouth. Purge fluid runs down his lips, black and viscous. Huh? What? And then put it up an ovulating pussy, and then does that count? No, we're not jacking off any corpses. The hyoid bone is fractured. The rest of the musculoskeletal system is intact. Unremarkable. Behelet bussy. Respiratory system. Um. Okay, he's prying open his mouth. Oral cavity shows no lesions. The victim has received a dental implant. Possibly after a combat wound. Mouth swollen. Hemorrhaging present in mucosa of the lips and mouth. Dude, that's what I was up to. I was hemorrhaging mucus everywhere. I wonder if I'm gonna wear a cop uniform. Or, um, cuties play. From here, it looks as though the clown-faced man is screaming. The tendons of his jaw are torn apart. I'm gonna be a cop. Hyoid, ripped from the force of the lieutenant's I'm gonna hands. flashbang the first baby I see. No scream, no sigh of relief rises from the darkness inside. It's humid there, sickly sweet air, unlike anything living. You feel like you're about to throw up again, straight in that mouth of his. Ew. No, you don't. You can keep it in. Well, you can keep I could have anything in. thrown up in his mouth. Look deeper in his mouth. You managed to suppress the contractions trying to enter your stomach. All it takes is concentration. Through it, you see nothing but darkness. More meat and darkness. There are ancient mysteries down there, Kobo. Ask me later. I need to go buy that book. Hemorrhaging present in About the pale. Hepatobiliary. N.A. Huh? What does that mean? He patobiliary. He doesn't have liver disease. Um, okay. Why don't we have anything? Uh, are you a hepatobiliary expert? Uh, no, I just found out what that word meant. Neither am I. That's it. Same for toxicology and serology. N.A. Both? 
Unless you have untapped reservoirs of knowledge there. The completionist in me wonders if there's something you could still do. Kim, I just wanted to have a longer conversation with you. We already have one test as per regulation, and we already requested semen. Fuck! Why did we... <laughs> well, I don't know. We only had one quest? Request? I, I don't want to fucking pick semen. Pick requested semen like it's no big deal. Why do we do... Why do we choose semen? I'm not even interested in these boring mulkers anymore. Can we I'm change it to toxicology? At the request, then, we'll know if drugs or poisons remain in his blood. At this stage, I doubt processing will find anything. Okay, yeah, Even let's switch out blood. of semen. I don't- I don't want to pick semen. Cardiovascular. The body exhibits heavy lividity. Blood has gathered in the hands, feet, and neck. Hypostasis I'm re is I'm specking out of semen, yeah. I'm respecking from semen to toxicology. Gastrointestinal. There's a pool of feces. Digested semi-solid food in stomach. Voila. Keep the voila. What's next on the list? Description of injuries. Let's see. We have bite marks, contusions on the head and chest, and a ligature mark encircling the neck. You'll need three fields. Leave a fourth one too. What's the fourth one for? Nothing. Just in case. Okay, bite head, marks? Chest and scalp bite mark injuries. Birds. Predation by birds has caused damage to the body. Odontologist does not need to be consulted. And your opinion, officer? Non-fatal post-mortem. Agreed. Next injury? Contusions. So, the scalp bleeds from a post-mortem head injury. A stone. <laughs> the injury does not have the rim of an early inflammatory response. A perpetrator on the scene has confessed to causing it post-mortem. At maximum velocity, fucko! Has confessed to causing it at maximum velocity. The yeah. lieutenant's admission has caused great gratitude in Kuna. He is silent with it. Yeah, no speculation. Coagulated semen. blood sticks to his scalp and chest, where the countless stones have hit the dead man. Beneath the description of injury. I still Two haven't boxes. gone to the cobbler yet. Right. Next. Ligature mark. I haven't gone outside. A dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck with a gap on the nape measuring, let's say, seven centimeters. The higher I've bone is fractured. The cervical collapse. Berserk is maxing and allergies maxing. I see hemorrhaging on the skin above and below the ligature mark. Depth of the mark, one centimeter. No signs of clawing on the neck. Below the note. Two customary boxes wait to be ticked. The man's head jerks to the side. The Henchman maxing his neck is visible. Um. <sighs> a dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck with a gap on the nape measuring seven centimeters. The bone is fractured. The cervical column intact. Fatal injury. That's it. We have established cause of death. It's not much, and it leaves much to be questioned. But it's a start. Let's wrap this up. I pronounce this field autopsy over. How did it go? Well, we established probable cause of death. Some would say that's the goal of an autopsy. We requested a test to be run on the genitals. That was the règle. The results should arrive in a couple no, of No, I said switch to toxicology. I don't want... I told him to spec out a semen. We were thorough with the list of injuries too. We described them all in detail. I what said... What do you dare to say? Given the circumstances, it was a professional field autopsy. I said we were specking out a semen. Oh yeah. Well done, master detective. Maybe a drink is in order? Perhaps a drink is in order. Now, you see, that worries me. You will die if you drink. You know that, don't you? Oh. You are proving a useful detective. The organization would miss you. Okay. Please get yourself together. The lieutenant from Precinct 57 thinks. Do they do taste tests for semen? I need a copy of that autopsy form. Then I will drive him to Faubourg for processing. He's thinking. 
Did I miss something? I have... Um... Tell me something, dead man. Shoot, Looney Rooney. Which was it killed you, love or communism? Huh? You said love killed you, but when you fell down, you said it was communism. You're misquoting me, Rooney. I said communism killed me. Love did me in. The autopsy, you said you have ancient mysteries. Oh, yes, Kobo Mi Lobo. In the gift horse's mouth. Gift horse? Tracts and wakes and waterways. Ancient materials buried. But to where, brother? Just a small gulp away. My beloved Kobo. Come back later, Kobo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento His mori mouth? features. I can't. If possible, also. See me in your dreams. Shoot, Looney Rook. Come back later, Corpo. Leave. Hello. So you tried to kill Kuno's girl? What's up with that? You want to talk about it? I didn't try to shoot her, I just aimed. What? Bitch! You fucking making excuses for yourself now? Hmm. I think we all moved past that by now, bitch. Not all of us. Acts like that stick with you for a while. Really? No one's moving anywhere. Do this shit again. And Kuno's gonna climb in your room at night with a knife. Okay. Kuno knows where you sleep. The pig who fucked his window up. I'm gonna climb in through that balcony. Put the fucking knife in you. Yeah, I've been in your room. I'm homeless. But you and Kuno are good for now, pals. Shoot that shit at Kuno. Let's have a jolly time. You don't threaten me, child. One word out of you, pig shite. And you're locked out of the Kuno experience forever. You hear me? You hear the Kuno? Try me, you little. You and Kuno are fucking good. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Kuno's sight. Let's go, officer. Okay, bye. I lo I'd love the to see him try to hit me, and then I could kill him and say it was self-defense. He looks less like a creature and more like a pile of intestines. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and takes a deep breath. Perception. Um. Level up. Oh God. You run your hands over the victim's cold body, his limbs, his torso with its swollen organs. Look in his pants the again. The genitals in his breeches continue to be unnoticed. Why do I keep looking at you his see penis? the penis of a dead man. I keep looking if at his penis. you've seen it once, you've already got the picture. I can't stop looking at his penis. Can't get enough of that dick. Hey! Do you think we missed something? You can't shake the feeling that there are more secrets concealed in the yes, flesh before. Yes, there's something we're not seeing. Okay, well, we are in Livor Mortis here. He is disintegrating. We need to refrigerate the body if we want to conduct another examination. And we need to do it fast. Can he... Where do we find a fridge? In the kitchen! It would have to be industrial in size. Let's start by asking Gart at the Whirling in Rags and the Fritz store down at the gates. If they don't know, in, we can put him in the kitchen. If all else fails. Fuck are you looking at being old man? You want a piece of the Kuno? Wanna get fucked? Only if all else fails. Hurry. Is it soon you'll be looking for clues in a pile of sludge and bones? Look in the mouth. Hold on. Can, can I quickly ask to put him in the kitchen? Put him in the kitchen, put him in the kitchen. Put him in the kitchen. Oh, there's so many people here. Please, let me put him in the kitchen. Please, 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 please. You see, the door, the door, the door, the door, the, 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 the door. Fuck! I'm assuming that's the freezer. The man ponders his I need a fridge. The man keeps shaking his head. His eyes seem sad. Then 
He starts swiping crumbs off the countertop. I don't think he understands, officer. We need to find some other way to make ourselves clear. I need to put a dead body in this fridge. Point to the fridge. Oh, no, no. What do you know, fit fridge? Fridge more. How do you know? It's a small body. No, no. I know. Okay, we have our answer. It won't fit. We need a bigger fridge. The man. I don't think he understands, officer. Makes stabbing motions at the meat on the himself. cutting board. What are you doing? The cook looks at you doing this. Point the, towards the, cook the fridge. Says something. Wait, we could it's cut up the body animated, and then put it in the fridge. And then understand. we can examine it. Why am I the corpse? Doesn't matter. I don't think he understood us anyway. He wouldn't be smiling if he did. What language is this? He's from Grad. A Koiko. With the mention of the word Koiko, the cook starts talking Why would I cut up the corpse? So it would fit in the fridge. Again. He's happy for some reason. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have our answer. Let me ask the manager. Maybe he has knows a spot. Can I help you? I need a fridge. Yes, yes. For the dead body. You want to put a dead corpse into my fridge, right? Yeah. Correct it. Yes. Well, I have a fridge, and you're not putting it here. Why? Because this is a culinary establishment, not no! a mall. No! It's not fair! I can't believe you even asked me. It would only be for... Lieutenant, you too? You're asking too? No. The answer Dude. is no. I will not turn this place into some kind of macabre circus. Why? <sighs> Let's go talk to the Frit clerk. Where's Frit? Can you pour me Do a drink? I have a shaker in my hand? Is this... Is this a shaker? He sounds irritated. Mm, no. Yes. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie and doing this? Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Why? Because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Is there anything else you wanted? I need my pacifier, please. Even more reason for me not to serve you, sir. Was there anything else you needed other Baby than Baby girl playthrough. Okay, bye. I get the... The body! I need to hurry! Quick! Where's the free tea? Is it? Oh, here's the free tea. Free tea. Can I put a fridge? Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine are you reading? You mean this? She looks at the cover, boasting a colorful photo of two girls kissing. Lesbians? This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. I approve of this. Very futuristic. Tap on the girls kissing. She pops her raspberry flavored bubblegum and nods. The lieutenant frowns at you before turning Him? to the clerk with an Are you homophobic? Um I have some questions. Um okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting Do you to have anyone. a fridge mm -hmm. right behind you? I need to store a corpse there. Um you're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. I need to store the corpse of a hanged man in your fridge. Um, okay. It wouldn't even fit, you know. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe a glass door fridge in a public <laughs> grocery store isn't the best option for storing a corpse. Pity. It would have been so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. 
Can you tell me anything about the dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. Do you have another fridge? No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. Thanks, Seth. If you hear anything, gamma. let us know, okay? Okay. Do you know the man who died? Not really. Does it mean you knew him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. How long was it there? I don't know, really. Thanks for the uh, help. Do you have a fridge? Right behind you. This is a fridge, wicked. Yeah. She's playing with her hair. In mm-hmm. Right, um... You're joking. Right? It wouldn't fit! Yeah. Super fun. Fuck! I need to fit a body. The tear machine stands in the corner. Oh! As your bottles clunk into the machine. And the money appears. You're 100% sure you've got special hobo cop money for that tear. At least 100% extra tear money. If the numbers on the machine told you otherwise, it's a lie. Do you know what you should do with that money, kiddo? You should buy more alcohol. What the fridge? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Nasal sprays, yeah, I asked the rich lady packs. for money. She gave they me a all bunch of money. The Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Um, just ask me if you need anything from Saint Baptiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Who's Saint Baptiste? Saint Baptiste. <laughs> yeah, Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals. Okay, whatever. Um, what's this? A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol. Ooh, bottles. I need some. Wink at you in the light. The smokes too glitter in their wrapping. It's like looking into a kind of heaven. Is there anywhere and else I can store the body? There, in that dark green glass, all in vain. The great flowing river of warmth, wine, alcohol. Don't do it. Beer, I thought I have alcohol, to do it. Love, alcohol. This is not a good place for a recovering addict. Um guess not no good thing oh i don't have to do it oh i thought i had to then. i'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health but i guess you already know that don't ask. i would love don't to have some don't do pop anything pop here. papes just go Peep. away get back to work peep pop cup cupcakes know this you will never finish your alcohol quest if you don't buy beautiful alcohol. Thirty dollars. Keep. Wait, there's a shack I didn't check. Um. Yes. <sighs> What's this? There's stuff on the ground. Go through the track. Ooh, money. Any more bottles? Is this to commemorate an old one who died? Stands in the middle of the traffic island, pointing toward the sea. It looks as if it's being reassembled piece by piece. Oh, what the fuck? Secured it's like... and mounted in the air with the aid of numerous ropes and rods. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, I am Philip III, the squanderer. I don't know who that is. The greatest is. of the Philippian kings of Revachon. Son of Did Philip, I did get my second, shoe back. Opulent father of Philip, the, fourth, the insane. Not a good track record of mental health in that family. As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations on the king's chest piece. Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass. Around my shot, the king. Is. Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot Roscoe, of action during the revolution, but the statue is recently renovated so maybe a joke target practice or a political statement it's a political statement why not what this shows us is guns aren't too uncommon here and people still shoot them sometimes at kings 
The king stands high above you, surveying the bay, mute and indifferent to your sightings. What did he do? You have no idea what you Shit. did a week ago. How would you know what this guy did? I still many have amnesia. Ago? High above you, the king. Any uh, spare change? Bottles? Ooh. Wife beater. Conceptualization. Where's that? Physical instrument. Healthy organs. I think this one's better. Okay. I, I want to look at all this stuff later. I want to check out the shack. If I'm a recovering alcoholic, I need to be healthy. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Perception. Because it's nice and orderly. No. Well, no. There's more to this. You get this strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say. It's gone now. No! Maybe there's stuff here. Oh, I have to go up. Wait, how do I get up there? Um, maybe I can run up there. There's a... Well, maybe I could just leave him outside and it's cold. I got more bottles. of the bench do not look overly comforting hmm we can sit on benches after we've solved the murder let's go you can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time when lieutenant kitsuragi is gone oh yeah he has to ferry the body um an intricate web of blue lines it oh. still kind of looks like a map of the stars in the night sky but what's the meaning of this tattoo right for you to discover you've gotten as far as oh. you will without assistance someone close to the victim might know who are you gone okay can i talk to the mug it's just a rip no can i talk to my clothes oh let me give the pin back to the old lady i don't need it anymore Hello again, sweetie. Oh, your pin. you were able to pop. Oh, thank you, dear. I confess, I am glad to see it again. Even the lieutenant seems happy with this. I thought I was begging her for money. Now, what else, sweetie? Bye bye. Wait, maybe, um. Okay, maybe I'll just stop here and then tomorrow I'll go talk to everybody and see if somebody has a fridge. And then talk to the people with the strike. And then I also have to explore the basement. My headache is also not going away. Thanks, ketchup on fries and Roscoe Belosco. Safe. Need to find the fridge, yeah. Okay. Did I say save? Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. We are ending our transmission.